dance to begin with. We are, well, I'm Charu Sharma. I couldn't be more delighted than to be here for what I may term as the restart of cricket in Kenya because it's been absent for many years. I don't know for what reason, but I have Steve Ticolo next to me. Steve, wonderful to be here with you. And, well, it's a shame in many ways that cricket or big cricket was lacking in Kenya all these years, but isn't it delightful that we are back now with international cricket? Thank you, Sharu. Nice to have you in Nairobi. Uh, as you know, you rightly said, uh, We've lacked cricket in Nairobi or in Kenya for quite some time now, and it's very nice to see that uh, cricket is back. Uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed that things go well. Okay, we'll get to that. And the two umpires are also there along the match referee. Dennis, we were there a little earlier. And I think we may just be ready for the national anthems before we get to the game. The players have lined up. We're about ready, so um, let the public address system take over. Ladies and gentlemen, do please stand wherever you are for the national anthem. through with the two national anthems what a delightful way to start any international series I'm sure both the teams needed just that to be able to rouse themselves and, and compete as hard as they possibly can Steve the national anthems always do that don't they they lift you yeah definitely you know it's very something proud for you to be singing that national anthem because you know you, you know you're you're representing your country and uh, you know your countrymen True. Okay. Now, the pitch here of the Nairobi Gymkhana, of course, has been used for many matches over many years, but not so for international cricket for a while. How will it behave? The former wicket keeper of Kenya, Kennedy Obuya, tells us. 
Good afternoon. It's already in the afternoon. And Jenobi Jimkana, first 20. There are five to 20s to be played on this surface. We are here to talk about the surface. There's first surface, second surface, and third surface. But we are talking about the main surface today that you're going to take on. The surface looks very good to me. Whether you bet first or bet second, I don't think it will make a lot of difference. If I go down a little bit, we'll have a look at it. It's as hard as a rock. So whether you bet first on this surface or bet second, it will not have a problem. I don't know why it's going to play on the second game. But today on this weekend, I've betted on this weekend more than 100 games on this weekend. I've scored a lot of runs, so I can promise you the bowlers get a chance, the fielders get a chance. So on this weekend, I'm looking at get about 200, about 180, 200 would be a very good, good, good score. If I look at the weather, the weather is not, it's a little bit cloudy, but it don't make a difference. There is no deal on the surface, the output is quite quickly, and anybody will get runs on this weekend. Good luck to both teams. Thank you, Kennedy. It looks like it's a real batting beauty. He's saying even 180, 200. We'll see. And I wonder if the two captains, if they win the toss, would like to listen to Kennedy and maybe bat first. He's saying it doesn't really make much of a difference. However, I was there with uh, Dennis Angara, the match referee, and the two captains just a short while ago for the toss for this first T20. At the Nairobi Gymkhana, we're all set for toss number one for the first T20 of five. Overcast conditions, I wonder if the skipper is going to take that into consideration, but let's introduce you to the star cast. To my right, the captain of the home team first, Kenya, Shem Goche. To his right, captain of the visiting team from Nepal, Sandeep Lamichane. And to his right, our match referee, Dennis uh, Angara. Dennis, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, Shem, you have the coin. Sandeep, your call. Make it loud. Tails is the call. Dennis, if you don't mind picking it up and telling us what it is. All right. Good call there, Sandeep. Match number one of five. First, what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a ball first. You know, you all already spoke about it, overcast conditions. And uh, obviously, it's the first time for us in Kenya. And uh, you know, we'll definitely love to get the idea about the pitch as well. So, yeah, we'd love to ball first. Yeah, nice safe call. Of course, you don't want them scoring too much, though. So what do you think is par here? Yeah, from the past games, I uh, got to know about like 170 to 180, but definitely would love to restrict them under some, somewhere around 140 to 50. So it would be a nice chase for us as well. Yeah, I'm really excited that there's international cricket here in uh, Kenya. Talk us uh, about your team. Who are the two or three young people who could uh, be looked out for new stars? Yeah, there are plenty of guys, you know, uh, actually it's a completely young team. So, you know, definitely there's a comeback for Gyanis Ramallah as well. So definitely an eye on him will be uh, from all the Nepalese people and uh, Vivek is there, Adil is there. You know, it's, a, it's a pretty young side. So definitely uh, there, there are a lot of uh, good uh, prospectors for the future as well. I hope the ball is coming well out of your hand. Good luck. Thank you. Shem, join us. All right, you will be batting first. I suppose you're used to the pitch, uh, play a lot of your cricket here. Yeah, definitely. For us, it's a home game. I think uh, we're used to, to this this ground. So basically, even if we will have won the toss, we will have batted first, put runs on the board and put pressure back to them. Well, he says maybe no more than 150. What do you think? Much more? Probably 180. 180 is a, is a very good score on this wicket. Anything above 180 probably is a winning score. But I don't think the wicket will change much. It will play the same. Well, Kenya hasn't played international cricket for a while now, so we're all very keen to find out who are the bright new young stars. Give us a couple of names to watch out for. Uh, for this series, we've brought in uh, left arm spinner Raj Patel. Uh, the rest, we we brought the Lucas has come back into the squad, Nemai has come back into the squad. Those are guys who have played before, but the rest of the guys who are on tour with in the Jersey series. Well, you are the home team. Do you think of the favourites? Definitely, we we have to believe in that. Well said. Good luck. Thank you, and have a lovely day. For the first T20, Sandeep Lamichane won the toss for Nepal and he's very happy to field first. And the umpires are ready to enter the field. So just to remind you that uh, Nepal, uh, well for them it's a sort of a sensible decision I suppose because Sandeep Lamichane did say that we don't know the ground, we don't know the conditions, don't quite know the weather. We're happy to field first and get a better sense of how the pitch might behave when we come into bat. So to that extent, do you agree with him, uh, Steve? Yes, uh, you know, because uh, it's uh, their first game here in Nairobi, they don't know the conditions, so it's uh, a good decision for them to bowl first and see how it goes. Well, let's just take a quick look as we watch the Nepal team walking in. Who's going to be batting and who are the big batters for Kenya? No better man than Steve Tokolo to tell us. So we've got their 11. Would you like to let us know who we should look out for in terms of the best batsman in Kenya at this point of time? 
Uh, there's Alex Obanda who's opening the innings. I think he's opening with uh, Colin Sobuya. Uh, there's also Rakeb Patel and uh, Irfan Karim. Those are the four to look out for. Uh, they've been uh, in form and scoring runs for Kenya even in the last tournament they played uh, two weeks ago. Irfan, of course, is the son of uh, Asif Karim, our old friend who's played for Kenya in the past. Really tall man, but he also wicket keeps for Kenya. I've never seen such a tall keeper, so he has a lot of work to do. <laughs> but you know, he has done well in that department. Uh, he's been doing it for the last four or five years for Kenya, and uh, he does a pretty good job. All right, the openers are here now. So um, we'll just confirm who they are, as I think Sompal Kami might begin for Nepal. They've got some nice bowlers, that's for sure. There's Karan who bowls rather well, fairly quick for Nepal. Mm -hmm. I was there last year to do their national league and therefore I know some of these players a little well. That's Sandeep, of course, the skipper, Lamichane, who not only applied his wares in the IPL, but uh, also in other leagues around the world. So Karan will be bowling first. Pretty quick, sometimes can be a little off, but Karan KC also hits the ball a long way. Some of the biggest sixes that I've seen in Nepal uh, thanks to Karan here, he's a big boy as you can see, likes to bowl the ball a little short every once in a while, so length has been a bit of a problem, but it is Obanda and Obuya who will open for Kenya. And, uh, yeah, Alex Obanda will take the first strike, Collins Obuya is on the non-striker's end. There's Karan KC, big guy, played 38 matches, and uh, that right hand fast is what he would like to bowl, but he's also a very useful batsman. And uh, late in the order, he can change the match with a few big hits, which is what a lot of fast bowlers are known to do. But uh, Collins, of course, is the much younger brother of our good friend Kennedy here. And he's been bowling ever since, what, many years now? He's touching the mid-30s already, late-30s? Yeah, Collins is uh, late-30s. Uh, he burst onto the scene during the 2003 World Cup, where he did very well for us. Here we go, ball one, the first T20, Nepal taking on Kenya. It's wide, pushed away. I think there is a bit of movement as well for Karan, away from the right-hander. And I wonder, because big cricket is coming back after quite a while, there will be some nerves in the in the batsman, won't there? Because, I mean, as a bowler, you get plenty of opportunities. As a batsman, one error, one miss, and you're walking back to the pavilion. Yeah, true that. And also, you know, you're playing at home. So there will be those nerves that, you know, you want to do well for your country and in front of your countrymen. Yeah, because Obanda was very tentative with that. It was wide, outside the off, it could have been cracked away for four, but he just about got a back to it. Much better. On target, Karan. And uh, just, I think we have to be generous to begin with to uh, both Obanda and maybe later Obuya, because uh, they too want to, as you said, create a, the right impression back home that they're uh, the best batsmen in the team. And... Uh, no real flash at this point of time. The second delivery was fairly good by Curran. He's got a slip and uh, a gully as well, which is a little strange in T20 matches. Here we go on a backward point as well. Ah, big flash and a miss by Obanda outside. Now, that's a little dangerous, but at times, of course, if you flash hard, the ball takes the outside edge and goes for six or four. <laughs> yeah, I think he had a sighter there, the first two balls, and uh, decided the third ball to go for it. Well, only two men allowed on the boundary during the power play, which is the six overs. There's one, of course, a third man, which is pretty traditional, and one at deep fine. So, very traditional field. Nobody on the boundary in front of square. Well, movement again for Curran. What a terrific delivery. Obanda shaped up for the drive, but it wasn't there. The ball was very well pitched. Moving away. And uh, we've got two balls here, which could have been dangerous for the batsman. Yeah, uh, I think because of the overcast conditions, uh, the ball is moving a bit. Uh, Alex has played uh, two big shots and uh, missed both. Again, Karan runs in. Again, movement. Carry, bounce. Again, movement, carry, bounce for Karan. This is a very, very good over, and I think uh, it's time for a mid-innings conference between Obanda and Obuya. Perhaps Obuya telling him, listen, don't worry. You get a few dot balls going at the start of a match, it's not a problem. Don't get desperate. 
Maybe that's the conversation. Steve, what would you tell Obanda right now? Uh, not to panic uh, because of his calibre. You know, he can always catch up later. Yep. More fall. Was there an edge? Perhaps he hit the ground, Obanda. Yet, of course, the fielding team's always happy to appeal. What a terrific over by Karan first up. Yeah, Karan, uh, Karan has started well uh, with the maiden. Uh, the ball is moving around a bit. And uh, good to see the way Karan has uh, bowled the first over. That was uh, the bat hitting the ground. Wonder who's gonna. There we are, Sompal Kami. I thought he might begin, but Sandeep opted to go with Karan first. And now Sompal Kami also uh, can turn on the pace. Were you, Steve, impressed with that first over by Karan? Hit all the right areas. Five balls out of six, or maybe four out of six. Yeah, and uh, there was also a bit of movement, I think, because of the overcast conditions. And uh, that's why I think Obanda played tentatively. Sompal Kami, also right-handed. Not particularly tall, but he can work up the pace. Now, of course, he'll be bowling to the far more experienced Colin Zaboya. Very fancy leg spinner. But uh, how's he going to do with the bat? Mm, loses his run-up, Sompal Kami. For him, two slips, which is certainly very unusual in T20 cricket. Maybe he does like moving the ball uh, uh, away from the right-hander. I think they got uh, Saita from the first over where the ball was moving. So Sandeep, the captain, has uh, decided to attack. And, uh, you know, it's a good thing if you can pick up a few wickets in the power play. Well, they're certainly looking to do that. But uh, they've started well, Nepal. Right on the mark. It'll trickle down to third man for the first single and the opening run of this first T20. Well, always a big thing for the home team or any team to put the first run on the board. And Collins Buya very happily behind that. Just turned it away. Nicely done. Yeah, Kenya uh, off and running. First run off the bat uh, from Collins Obuya. And, you know, that settles uh, the jitters a bit. <laughs> yeah, always... Very happy to run to the non-strikers and then just breathe a bit. But let's see how Obanda responds because uh, uh, his experience in the first over could not have given him too much confidence. He does have a very wide stance, almost like the bowlers coming from around the wicket. Uh, jab down on it, point fields, no run there, but it's the first time, or well, second actually, that Obanda's got bat on ball. So maybe that will give him a little more confidence. Bhavan, the man at backward point, easy. What about ground conditions here? Because I see that the grass is still fairly uh, tall in the outfield. Would you consider it quick? Because it looks like a little slower than the average quick outfield around the world. It looks a little bit slower, but uh, usually Jimkana outfield is a very good outfield. You get value for your, for your shots. Well, we still have to see some shots, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Kami. Yes, no, yes, no. Obuya is happy to take it, but uh, I think the right decision of Banda says no. Again, Sompa hits uh, the right line and length, uh, gets a dot ball there. This will keep on creating pressure on the Kenyan batsman. This is a very good start for Nepal. They've come very well prepared. I don't know whether we can see him right now, but we saw him earlier on. Their coach, by the way, former Indian star Manoj Prabhakar who plays a really hard game. He's known for being a really tough customer, Steve. The first shot, and he's gone for six. Well done, Obanda. Well, it was just a little fuller, and he threw his bat at it over the covers for six. What a magnificent shot. As you said, once you play your first shot, everything comes into place. Yeah, and Obanda has uh, had enough of uh, having a sighter and uh, went after that and uh, turned it into a huge six. That's a very good shot from Alex Obanda. Goes all the way.
What a handsome shot. Sompal Kami, what does he do now? What's the reply? Yeah, oh, got him! Brilliant! Just pulled his length back a bit. Obanda, a little tentative, thought that might go over the stumps. You can't leave the ball on length. And that was brilliant for Nepal, taking the leg bail. Nepal delighted, and Obanda, after that massive six, unfortunately, has to return to the pavilion. It was a good delivery. He uh, made a big mistake in leaving that. Yeah, very good delivery there from uh, Sompa. Looked like he came back and Obanda shouldered his, uh, his arms. Well, first wicket down for Nepal. Obanda would be very disappointed. He's one of the big batsmen here of Kenya. He got out to a really sort of elementary error, should we say. Head down. So disappointing. First T20, first return of international cricket after many years. Batsman is uh, Irfan Karim. Yeah, we were talking about him, weren't we, Steve? You were saying that he's a very competent bat. Of course, wicket keeps also for Kenya, very tall. Son of the former Kenya international, Hassan Karim. Slightly away from and, uh, you. We had a little chat walking up the company. I have over one to play. Well, he's taking a bit of a hit. He's got to bend down every ball as a wicket keeper. We look forward to seeing what his skills are. Now, Asif, of course, was left arm. And uh, is Irfan also batting lefty or? Yeah, your fun bats are left-handed. Goes in the family, huh? Being yeah. South Pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a delivery by Sompal Kami. His fifth. Got one delivery left. He's got two slips. Will he cut the ball across the left-hander? <laughs> oh, it comes in. Maybe, maybe a shade high. The umpire unmoved. It was slightly short, but there was movement. The end of a brilliant over by Sompal. He was hit for a six, but he took a wicket as well. Seven for one. Yeah, good comeback from Sompa there after being hit for the six. Uh, the last ball, uh, there was a good shout for an LBW, but looked a bit high. Oh, look at Sompal. Boy, did he believe that was out. But yeah, we think it was a little high, and so did the umpire. So no more damage. But uh, when you get a ball like that first up, maybe any batsman in the world, it can shake you up a bit. Mm, definitely, yeah. You know, you've got to be alert from the first ball. And sometimes balls like this, you know, wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Irfan Karim is now fully awake. Nepal starting out well here in the first T20. Striking in the second over. And Karan is shade unlucky not to strike in the first because he really bent his back. Slightly back a length. He gets a... He puts a lot of shoulder into his deliveries. And uh, no wonder he gets a lot of lift and carry through to the keeper. Also movement away from the right-hander. Colin Aboya, batting on one. Hasn't had much of the strike. Uh, deliberately steers it. There is a third man. Should be good for a single. That's good from Collins, uh, just looking to rotate the strike. And now, current to the lefty, Irfan Karim. Now, of course, he does bring the ball away or push the ball away for the right-hander for the left-hander does he have the ability to come over the wicket and bring it back from outside the off stump of the lefty that'll be a very special ball he's got a slip in a gully I think the captain is at gully mm. doesn't come back but very well left by Irfan Karim does he have the ability to move the ball both ways Karan we'll find out Steve, one feels a little sad for Obanda. One big six to show his ability. And then, unfortunately, shouldering arms to one that wasn't going anywhere but the stumps. Maybe he was a touch unlucky that it kept. Yeah, according also, to him, a little lower. Yeah, and also, I think, you know, error in judgment. Should have been a ball, he would have been playing maybe defensive. Same ball. 
Curran's keeping a really good line and length. I've got to admit, it's not easy adjusting to right and left. I mean, you might say that, you know, bowlers have been bowling it right-hander, left-hander for so long, they should be able to adjust, but it's not easy. And he's bowled two very good deliveries to Irfan here. Just tempting him outside the off stump, but it looks like Irfan Karim is uh, a batsman who likes also the longer form of the game because it's not easy to leave balls in T20 because the dot ball pressure can be a little tough to handle. A slip and gully. Right, right, yeah, right. He does bring the ball in on this occasion a little too straight. There's a short square leg. So no run. That was Rohit Kumar Powdell at uh, square leg. The two fielders still behind square at the boundary, that is third man and fine leg. The two teams don't really know each other too well, Steve. So even field placings sometimes are so batsman oriented. But when you don't know, you tend to stay with the standard field. A little bit of left, wants the run. Quick call. By the tall lefty Irfan Kareem, Colin Oboya was a little uncertain, but he responded well. Yeah, that was a tight one, tight yeah. call there, but uh, the good thing is uh, when they decided to run, they went flat out. There was no hesitation, but chance for a run out there. Now back to the right-hander, Colin Oboya. Kareem off. He's into the scoreboard now with that single. He's pretty keen to get to the other side, get on that scoreboard. A slip in the gully for Obuya. Oh, ball comes in a shade. Well kept away by Obuya. to in England so you know where the ball moves pretty appreciably mm. uh, or oh, 96 of course was in India for the Wills World Cup I remember sorry went to 1999 oh, well done again the ball coming in pretty sharply to the lefty Abuya wanted that but sent back by Kareem good decision because it was his call the ball going to wide mid on Good fielding from uh, Yanad Ramala. Stopped a definite boundary there. Yeah, he had to rush to his left and uh, put in a half dive. It was struck very firmly by Irfan Karim. The ball coming into him just a bit. He'll have to watch out for the one that goes away in case Sompal Kami has it because now he's expecting it to come in. And yet there is a slip in a gully. So obviously Kami has the ability to take it away from the lefty as well. Oh, that's going to be four, we think. Even though it's a slowish outfield, yes it is. Did he get a lot of bat or maybe just some glove? Yeah, some glove, maybe top of the bat. However, he will take it. Kami erring in line, going down leg to the lefty. Slight bat. This is the first time we're seeing uh, Sonko bowling uh, probably a wrong line. He's been very disciplined up, up until now. I wonder what coach Manoj Prabhakar is saying in the dugout. But well, it was a good delivery to the right-hander. Like, it's an example of how difficult it gets. Oh, brilliant. Came back in. Kareem left it. But uh, I think Colin Aboya might go and tell him, listen, this is moving. Watch it. Because already, Obanda left one that he shouldn't have. Came back really well, Steve. Yeah, looks like Karim didn't see that uh, talking to <laughs> Colin Sobui on the other end. Yeah, Collins surely would have told him, hey, watch it, don't leave it. And there was an indication where Karim said, oh, it, it was that close to the stumps, was it? Okay, I'll be a little more careful. I still wonder why we have a slip in a gully. Because he's got to be have, 
having the ability to move it away from the lefty. Again comes in. Just about misses the outside edge. Kareem did shape up to plate. Just a defensive shot. He'll be lucky he didn't edge it. That one looks like uh, it just straightened. Sometimes uh, when the bowler moves the ball in and they have the ability to have the one that straightens on the batsman. Well, testing times for the Kenyan openers. Well, one opener's back in the dugout for the top order batsman of Kenya. Colin Zabuya hasn't done much yet. Hasn't had much of the strike too. While Kareem, courtesy of the boundary earlier in the over, is on six now, or five. Comes in up in the air, through the gap on the offside. Will they take two for it? They have the opportunity. Oh, Steve, I'm a little disappointed. There was the opportunity for two there. Yeah, there, there was, but also good fielding on the, on the boundary there. Uh, the fielder took off pretty quickly. And I think that created a doubt in the <laughs> Collins and Karim's mind. I'm going to be a little harsh and say that the two was on. When the runs are not coming quickly enough anyway, you've got to maximize it. I've just come in from the Karnataka League and there was uh, Manish Pandey there, mm. captain of one of the teams. How well he runs between the wickets. Wow, one of the best in the world. Whoa, moves away from the right-hander. Colin Zaboya tricked. Terrific delivery. And that's the end of another wonderful over. Did give that one boundary, but Kenya 15 for one. Here we are again. I think Karan will be given a third, which is a little unusual. In T20s, normally you get a, an over or two, but they're deciding to bowl him through Sandeep Lamichane, or at least give him another over now because he has bowled rather well. Yeah, Karan. he has bowled well, and I think that's uh, the thought process behind it. The captain to keep him going. Yeah, turns it very well. There is a deep fine. Just went with the movement. Did uh, Irfan Karim. Looks like a good bat. Has a nice, sensible head on his shoulders. Doesn't seem to panic. Likes the defensive, maybe he's a good red ball player, long form player as well. Yeah, he does well uh, in the 50 over format and uh, obviously the first class games he has played. He looks to occupy the crease more. Yeah, sadly, T20 doesn't allow you to do too much of that. You've got to push it along as quickly as possible. Now, Colin Zaboya, still a slip for him, slightly wide. And a gully backward point. Oh, big swing and a miss by Colin Zaboya. Which shows you, Steve, that there is beginning to be some pressure, all those dot balls. Yeah, pressure with the... Uh, this is the fifth over going on and uh, Kenya only on 16 for one. Uh, they'll definitely now look to up the tempo. And remember, with uh, this being, what, the fifth over now, there's only one more over after this in the power play and then there'll be much more cover on the boundary. Five fielders right now. You can get away with uh, a big edge, a loose shot, as long as you clear the infield. So that may be in Collins uh, Abuya's mind that I'm going to try and go big. Oh, beautiful movement. Squaring up Collins Abuya. Shaped up to play. The ball moved away. And Abuya, very fortunate not to get an edge. Beautiful ball from Karan there. Uh, he's been doing it for the last two, three overs. <laughs> <laughs> very consistently. The consistency, yeah. Uh, well, obviously, Curran likes bowling to right-handers because he's right on top of his game. Against the lefty, he did try and cut it across the lefty a couple of times, then moved it in and got clipped for an easy run. Against the right-handers, oh boy, he's been tough. Now, that gully has been moved away. I think Sandeep Lamichane says if he's trying to go big, then we should have a slightly more spread-out field. Only a slip now. And again, he can't connect. And again, a terrific delivery. Back of the length. Great bounce carry to the keeper. Oh, so lucky he didn't get an edge to that because he was only playing a defensive shot.
Well, Steve, you've got to appreciate what you're seeing here in terms of medium fast bowling. Karan's really turning it on. Yeah, definitely. They've done well from both ends uh, and, you know, building that pressure. Asif Sheikh, the keeper of Nepal, will always be interested. He's been ooing and eyeing for quite a while now because so many deliveries have gone so close to the outside edge. Last ball, no, two more in the over. Big shot onto the mid wicket area and it goes over the boundary line for a magnificent six. Just slightly straighter. And Colin Zabuya said, I think I'll help myself here. Brilliant. And just over the man who, by the way, was a deep square, so he could have got a hand to it. But it went sailing over into the Kenyan dugout for a magnificent six. Yeah, that's a good shot from Colin Sobuya. Uh, he's been itching to go for the big shot. And uh, he does that and uh, goes successfully over deep mid-wicket. Yeah, well, five or seven yards over the boundary line. Tries to go big again, big appeal. The ball did come in a shade. The umpire suggesting might have gone down leg. After that 1-6, I'm sure Colin Zaboya is feeling a lot better about himself, but missed the, ne missed the next ball. So, you've got to be a little careful. A bowling change from the commentary end. What end should we call this, uh, Steve? This is the city end. City end. From the city end, we've got a bowling change. As, uh, Down leg, clipped away, fun leg. First ball, and uh, the line was way down leg. Now round for Muhammad Adil Alam. Uh, again, drifting down leg, and just playing with the angle. How well has Kareem played that? Nice, still head. With the faster bowler's bowling is going to go for a boundary. He still has the fine leg in. He'd better bowl outside the off pretty quickly now. Why? Good adjustment to length. Yeah, good comeback there by Mohamed Adil. Of line, I beg your pardon. Dipender Singh Ayri at uh, backward point. Well, we'll have to presume that he's one of the better fielders of Nepal because that is the position where the ball goes very often, particularly off the medium paces. Again, drifting down leg, Adil. There is a deep square, so that'll be only one, but again, very well played. Well, 
Adil Alam doesn't seem to be pretty quick, so he'll have to be very careful about his line and length. Otherwise, uh, the Kenyan batsmen are likely to pick him for many runs. Already gone for nine. Well, we've got Colin Zabuyo now on strike after that single. So Adil shifts back to over the wicket. And this, I suspect, might be better because he, I think he likes bowling for right-handers, trying to move it away. No slip, though. There's a deep third. Yeah, there you go. Movement, but in the gap. And that way, another the boundary. Colin Zabuya just met the ball with very good timing. Didn't overplay it. Found the gap. It's another boundary for Kenya. Yes, another good shot by Collins. Uh, just blessed it into the gap. Uh, very good use of his hands. This is proving to be a really good over for Kenya. Remember, this is the last in the power play. In fact, one ball left for the end of power play. And Adil Alam has uh, not bowled with any distinction. His lines have been off. Straight up. And long, well, mid-off is getting underneath it. Should I'm delighted to have Kennedy Obuya here with me. Kennedy, your younger brother, tried to hit big, unfortunately, couldn't clear the infield. I think the conditions are quite different. The ball is, the ball is like it's holding a little bit on the wicket. So we, we, we predicted it wrong. We as batsmen, we thought, we thought the ball was going to come through. But I think it's, a, it's early days. The conditions have been like this for quite a while. Yeah? A little bit of cloudy, so the wicket is surface not as hard. It could be hard on top, but it's a little bit wet underneath. Excellent start. We were looking for these kind of games in Gymkhana. Kenya. Such an important point because that's the key. Big cricket returns to Kenya, returns to Nairobi, returns to the Nairobi Gymkhana. I'm really pleased to be here. I'm Charu Sharma in the company now of Kennedy Obuya. I have lost two wickets. And you're right, there's a little bit of moisture still because of overcast conditions not drying out quickly enough. It's such an art, pitch making. Get to that later. We have a change. Down leg wild, the first ball to begin with. Oh boy, Asif's had a lot of work to do. The uh, Nepal keeper. Of course, Karan bowled three fabulous overs, but this first delivery, mm, not too pleasing for Nepal. I think the keeper is doing a good, has done a good job to back it up there. But the ball is still seeming a little bit. Yeah, so it's, it's good to work out as a bowler. Oh, better come back. He wants the single, but I think Kareem is a very sensible player. Sends Patel back. No run there at all. But you can sense that Patel wants that first run quickly, you know, to get on the scoreboard, get rid of the nerves. I was talking to Steve earlier, and whatever you say, you know, there are always nerves when big cricket returns. However much cricket you may have been playing, this is an international, and you want to be careful. The, the Wild again outside off this time. 
He's having a really tough time. Vivek Kumar Yadav, one down leg, way down leg, and one well outside off. Two wides already in the over. Slightly wild by Yadav so far. He bowls well just to the right of mid off. That will go for a handsome boundary. Got plenty of bat on that. And he'll be so happy that uh, he's off with the boundary. Middle of the bat. Always nice to hear that sound. What a start. Beautiful start from Patel. He's quite an experienced player. He's quite an explosive batsman. He can really go after it here. Yeah? And what a start for him. For Kenyan, we hope that he gets a big one. If he gets a big one, we're definitely in the game. What does Yadav come back with? Outside off, spanked away. Of course, there is a cover sweeper. So just the single. But again, he got the middle of the bat. And you're right, it may be holding up just a shade. He couldn't find very good timing on that uh, square cut. But that off drive was magnificent, even though it was up in the air for a while. But safe to the left. Yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a, after boundary, we always say as a bit single. Once you get a single, you're definitely in the game. So let him keep on bearing and get a boundary and get a single and rotate the strike. And left hand or right hand is always a big headache for bowlers. It always brings that dynamic of the bowler not knowing where to land it well. Yep, we made that point. I agree completely. Oh, oh handsome. Oh, brilliantly fielded. What a fabulous shot. Great fielding. Good cricket. Wonderful to see here at the Nairobi Gymkhana. Good all-round cricket. Good shot. Good piece of fielding. Yeah, Ifan Karim is a, he's not, he's not a big hitter, but he's a good timer. He times it well. And that's why he's bending up the order. Bawan Saraf. Fabulously done. Diving to his right. And uh, I'm not suggesting that could be a boundary because there is a cover sweeper. But he saved a few runs for sure. Oh, wait there. Very defensively played. I like Irfan Karim. Seems to be a man in no hurry. I was talking to Steve Ticola earlier. He did mention that he likes to build an innings. Much more a long-form player. Uh, but even here, I mean, in T20s, if you play good shots along the ground, you can get plenty of mileage for that. Especially on the position that he's betting on. If you bet up the order, this field is still closed in. You can still go as good uh, time it nicely along the ground. You still get your boundaries. Nice ball. Will that end the over two wides off it? And of course, a very handsome boundary. The other all over the place. He'll have to do better for his skipper. 40 for two. And you have had score is 40 for two after seven. It's the game is quite balanced and the conditions will not change. I, I promise you the weather is looks like it's going to stay like this. So if you're a Kenyan, stay and watch. Things may turn around. You still go to bed and you still go to ball. It's still a long way to come. Or even if you're watching in Nepal, stay and watch because your team started out pretty well, taking two wickets. Wonderful atmosphere here in Nairobi, I've got to admit. By the way, we are at over 5,500 feet, which is remarkable. I think it must be one of the highest international grounds. Uh, I can't remember anyone higher. Joburg and Pretoria are pretty high, about 5,000. But this is 5-5, uh, five, five, so we are talking about the ball potentially flying just a little quicker in the air when it's hit well. And talking about him being hit well, change of bowling from my side, which is the hand, and Sandeep is bowling. I, is it an off spinner? Sandeep is one of the finest, cleverest leggies in the world. He finds place in some of the biggest leagues, IPL for instance. Every once in a while, of course, he may give a few runs because wrist spinners are always, you know, it is difficult to land the ball, but he's uh, their premier leg spinner and, of course, the skipper of Nepal from the commentary end. Oh, brilliant. Where did that sneak through? It was a wrong one. And I have to say, Patel, no clue. How did it miss? Even Sandeep Lamachan is saying, man, how did that miss? Did the Empire keep buy, buy or runs? That's what I want to see. Let's see where it goes. There it goes, Rakeb. I didn't, he didn't pick it completely. Good in. Oh, it's an inner rage. It's an inner rage. Or, Rakeb, you, you deserve the runs. You got it. It's all yours. Again, the wrong one. And given. Oh. Not very often to get that decision on the Founders have really dominated a lot. You can't be only be a baller. It's very rare for you to be only be one-sided player in this modern cricket. 
Well, you make a good point. All-rounders, of course, find huge premium in the leagues around the world, the T20 leagues particularly, or white ball cricket, should we say. Particularly, and I feel I think there isn't enough respect for a spinning or a wicket-keeping all-rounder, which is also an all-round job. People keep saying, oh, fast bowling all-rounder, that's the key. And I suppose, you know, they are, at, uh, they command the biggest premium, the medium-fast uh, bowlers who, who can also bat quite a bit. Yeah, makes makes sense, makes sense. Talking about bowling, I, if, if they must have picked him up, he's bowling all googlies. <laughs> there you go again, they're all googlies. So I think if you're a batsman, that's a something that you must work on. Stand a little bit on your leg stump, yeah? Let him, let him ball, play him like an in-swinger. So the ball which goes away will not affect you at all. If you play him as an in-swinger, because they'll all be drifting into you. The ball that does go away, if he does bowl the leggy, he has a slip for the outside edge. Clever bowler, Sandeep. Yeah, again, very firmly struck, confidently struck by Nelson Odiambo. Obviously, he's a confident young bat. How old is he? Uh, he, must, he must be about on his own, about 28, 30, mm. but a good all-rounder. Sandeep Lamichani for the lefty. He likes to go round the wicket. He's already got a wicket for his trouble so far. One inside edge for four, the first one. Next one a wicket. We think he was a little lucky because it was, to my mind, missing leg. But uh, we don't take the decisions here. And we have the benefit of replays, of course, which is a big one. Round the wicket. Lamichane. Oh, short. Be very disappointed. So yeah, and that's, and, that's, and that's what I found is a challenge. They're finding it hard to bowl to the left-hander. I look at when it opened, the two opening bowlers were drifting into the left-hander. So the right-handers that they're bowling very well, the left-handers, they're all struggling. So I think if he fan stays in, he'll give the right-hander a chance to rotate the strike or get boundaries. You make a good point. Let's see what Odiambo can do here. Last ball of the over. And well left, read that well. It was a genuine leggy, not too much spin. Randeep Lamachani, the skipper, ends his first over. Kenya, 47 for three. And I repeat again, we are back, and it's back to be Nairobi, especially cricket being in Gymkhana and Nepal. Thanks to Nepal Cricket Board for letting us have this beautiful, beautiful matches that we're going to have. It's going to be it's 5 to 20s and 3 1 day. So don't leave anywhere. If you're outside Nairobi, this is the place to be. If you're in Nepal, stick to your TV. It's going to be quite interesting. And it, because it's the first game, we don't know how the wickets are going to play, we don't know how the players are going to play. They're both nerves. The conditions may change. In this time of the year, it's normally, it's normally very hot. It's quite unlikely that you'll find this kind, of, this kind of weather. Well, you could have fooled me because it's pretty cool. Of course, it's overcast. A bit of a breeze blowing from the east to the west as well. Um, as we get another bowling change. I don't think Yadav did very well that last yeah. over, so he's been taken away, and we have more spin now. Irie comes in. Dipendra Singh, Irie. Is this off spinner or leg Yeah, spinner? off spinner and a decent right arm bat. He's coming round the wicket straight away to the lefty. Let's see how he does. Yeah, just a leave there for Irfan Karim. Very careful batsman says, what does he do? Does he spin much? Let me take a look. Luckily, he had plenty of distance away from the offside to let that go. Oh, yeah, and that's where it gets tricky. These days, T20, you can't afford more dirt balls. We can't leave them. <laughs> get the contact, get contact. Took the words out of my mouth. That's a one's okay, not the second. They have just his line. Balls to leg, will they take the two? Square leg comes racing in. There's a bit of a wobble and enough time for an easy two. Good decision, well played. It was angling in, of course, just had to turn it a bit with uh, the wrist. And that's good, uh, good piece of placing from Ifan Karim. He can nudge it around. It's the other side to try and accelerate. When it gets to his second gear, third gear, yeah, it will be very interesting. But he's a, he's a good, he, he plays long, and that's the most important. So if you get, get one person on the other side who can do that, it can make a big difference. Irie tosses it up. And a sharp no. More by Kareem than by Odiambo, who was happy to take off. It's been a reasonably quiet over, but you make a good point about the gears, and I'm looking forward to see the gears that Kareem has. Beautifully struck in the gap. There is a long off racing to his right. Comes in with the dive and the tumble. Brilliant to see. They've obviously trained really well, the Nepalese team, in terms of fielding. Look forward to seeing how the Kenyans feel later on, but that was a good exhibition. Time for them, of course, 
to take uh, two. And that's a good two run right. It should have been three. That's very poor running in between the wickets. Run a little bit harder. It's 2020. <laughs> Put some energy behind it. Yeah, because of the tumble, I suppose they had the time. <laughs> And talk about the tumble, that's the end of the eighth over, and the score is 51 for three. But when you talk about the game, I don't know. I don't know. What is that? What do you think it could be a good target on this surface? Well, they were talking about 180, 150. So we'll have to see. Again, well ball right on the mark. The single is taken after some hesitation. The throw wasn't good enough, but I think it needed to come to the non-strikers because it was Odiambo who was struggling. Started late. Good call. Good call from him. Fine. It's, it, it didn't hesitate at all. It just took off. Odiambo was thinking twice, but him, he just took off. Talking about the score now, I don't know whether we are talking right. about. We are looking about from where they are. The moment 63. Let's see if we can. Out of 10 overs, can you double it? I doubt it. Well, it's 51 right now, isn't it? Yes. So yeah, I, I would suggest that nothing less than 120. They've got plenty of wickets still. I don't know what's the ability of the batsman to come, but uh, 120, 125 at the very least. Oh, oh drives outside off, tricked once again. Kareem flirting with that, well outside the off stump. Bowling round the wickets on Deep Lamichane. And, and that's the area that is supposed to go to a left-hander. And I think that's why he's proven that's why he plays in the top league. Yeah. A very clever bowler. Kareem properly respectful, except that I know Kennedy's going to say, hey, listen, you've got to make a move on too. It's T20. So I'm waiting for that second gear still. Leave alone the fourth or fifth gear. He has to. He has to get to, to the second gear. Sandeep has changed his action again. He's come to the. He's come now over again to where he started from. Yeah, Good big shot. gap on the leg side. They should take two. They could take two. Man from mid wicket comes racing in. Better to be safe. That's Sompal Kami who bowled so well at the top. Racing in from deep mid wicket. He had about 40 yards to make. Or 30 or 5 at any rate. But he ran in quickly being a fast bowler and they took only one. Another good over by Sandeep Lamichane. The previous one a wicket taking over. Tossed up. Oh, Sandeep really should have fielded that. I know it's only going to go for one to long off. He should have gotten down on that ball quicker. And that's the big challenge. And I, th I think I think that they are, they are trying to play more sensible and very careful. And anywhere in the world, if you're a top batsman, a top bowler, you play the ball. You don't play the name. Please play the ball. If there's a ball to hit, you got to hit it. Good point. Tossed up again. Big gap on the leg side. Nobody on the infield there. And again, Kami will make sure that's only one. So another very tight over for Nepal. The skipper bowling this. And uh, with at the halfway stage, Kenya are not exactly motoring. They're 55 for three. If you look at the columns of the wicket, it's three wickets. And those are the three big hitters who have come out. Collins Obuya, uh, Rake Patel and Alex Obana. They are the main big hitters. So unless Mandela accelerates in the middle, it's going to be a low, looking like a 120 score. But if somebody changes his gears very well, we may end up to about 140. Possible, if you're talking about, say, 8 to 10 runs and over, which is very often done. We'll begin again on the opposite side. Tossed up, they won the single. No. It's all up to Irfan Karim. I haven't seen a single shot in anger, in aggression. Maybe a couple of pleasing cover drives of nothing more from Irfan Karim so far. But he must possess those shots, surely. I was talking about those pleasing off drives, but they'll fetch you one or two max in T20 cricket. Very, very, very well said. And something that I think, if you, if you, if you, if you ask Steve was coached in so many, in so many players, he's coached so many players in so many countries, you got to have a sweep shot or make use of the crease. So you got to step out and try and hit it over the top, or you got to play the sweep shot. Those two shots are very, very, very crucial when you're playing spin. 
Well, it is the right arm off spin to now. Right-hander Odiambo. Good time for him to show us he's got a big shot in his arsenal. Yeah, that was uh, shorter of length. Again, picks up a single. It's ones. They're not bad, but they will not really, really, really push the run rate higher. They push the run rate a little bit higher. You have only for three. You're only for three at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm not going to be critical of Nelson Odiambo. who's just come in, so you might spend a little more time just trying to find the right ball to hit, but... Irfan Karim's been there for quite a while now. And he's got to go bigger. Can't play these forward defensives now. Time's beginning to run out, Kennedy. And that's exactly what I was saying, Sharu. You go to play the sweep shot or make use of make make use of the crease. So step out a little bit, make use of your feet. Get a single on or play on top or sweep. Try and get a boundary somewhere. Cuts and cuts pretty sharply. But there is cover there by the boundary. And you get you play some really good shots, you get only a single anyway. That's how cruel the game is. That was a good shot though. Yeah, sometimes it's a good shot for nothing. It's better, <laughs> rather, rather get a single. And talk it, talk, right talking right about right. playing and watching, we used to have one good, very, right very right good right. coach, Sandeep Patel. We used to tell you, right. hit, but watch. So you don't know that to hit or watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, yeah, good friend of ours. Was here in Kenya for quite a while. Riambo right. just plays right. it away right. to short third. Good right. over by uh, Dipendra Singh Airi. Only three of it. 58 for three, Kenya, after 11. Can we go eight runs and over from here, Sharon? That's a big question that we're asking. Eight runs and over, that's what we need. If you can get eight runs and over from here, you'll be on business. Yeah, we still have to see how Nepal respond with the bat, but they've started pretty well with the ball. I think only Yadav was a little off Vivek Singh Yadav. But I really, uh, you know, I, I think there's, because Kareem is only pushing it out for singles, I think that's going to put some pressure on Nelson Odiambo, who might say, well, if he's not being able to get the big runs, maybe I have to, and he's, he's only just coming. So I just wonder if that pressure is going to get to Nelson, and he goes for a shot that he shouldn't. Uh, just about that long hair, I, I met one of these guys uh, in the Gymkhana and I said, well, hey, listen, I saw you yesterday while practicing, you some really long ones. And he said, no, it wasn't me. There's another guy with the long hair and he was hitting the long ones. I don't know who that is, but which one of them was hitting the long ones? Because they were just trashing the ball behind the side screen. Bang, bang, bang. Of course, that was during the practice. <laughs> I think Sharu generation is gone. These are totally different generations <laughs> who are being told, be smart, make a nice year, nice smart. Go to school, look very, very, very good. Different generation. All tattoos everywhere. Eh? Long yes. hair. What more can you ask for? Well, good for them. <laughs> well, off spinner from the commentary side as well. A bit of a change here as. Uh... Yeah, Pawan comes in. Saraf. He's got the wrong number. We have him at eight, but he's got 59. Oh, once again, just batted down to the bowler. We don't see that much in T20 at all. Now, I'm not going to be too harsh, but where's that? You, you, didn't you mention some gears? He has to. Well, where he's are those gears? The gear. He's got to change the gears. A good shot just so but only picks up the single we need we need to try and squeeze a boundary and with the left hand right hand combination you can really create pressure so he's going to try and look for a boundary somewhere well, i said it and I keep on saying step out sweep do something to get a boundary you need a boundary you got to do something yeah well nelson i wonder if he's going to get a little desperate and jump out of course easier for him with the right arm off spinner short cut away in the gap will that go all the way the outfield is not that quick. It will. What a welcome boundary. It's come after a long time. And Nelson played that really well. Only two men behind square on the offside. He found the gap. Yeah, definitely a good shot. Cut it well. You must understand. There's, there's, there's going to be some nerves. We haven't played home for more than 12 years. So there's going to be some nerves on the player. The surface, you play, we play league matches, but not every game you play here. But as far as I know, it used to be a very good surface. Saraf will have to correct again. He goes short on the offside. And I have to say, 
very well taken off. Good backing by Irfan Karim. He was off like a shot from the non-strikers. And fortunately for him, Nelson Odiambo responded. So Odiambo will keep strike at the end of the 12th over. 66 for three. Your thoughts on the Nepal bowling so far? Of course, their two opening bowlers did really well, but thereafter? I think the ball, the, the ball swung very well initially, then the spinners have taken control over it very well also. They've hold their nerves, their ball nice and tidy to good areas. And one crucial wicket from Rake Patel has created pressure on the middle order. So, but the middle order has got to try and pick it up from there and go. But the bowling has been excellent. The bowling has been in good areas. The feeling has been very, 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 very good. So, for Nepal, they're really, really right on top. Defender Singh Airi, the off spinner, comes in from the far end. Jabs down on that, does Nelson Odiambo a little late. I will say again, it's a little easier for the right hander against the right arm off spinner. We are likely to see a big one soon. Not yet. Oh dear. They've got to try something. He's got to try something. As, as you said, for, left hand, for a right hand, it's easier. You're hitting it with the spin. So you can hit it across the spin, it's much easier. He's got a long on and a deep mid wicket as long as well as a deep square leg. So well covered on the leg side. Not so on the off. There is a long off though. So a single. The runs are uh, coming at a huge premium here, Kennedy. Very, very. And, and, he's, and he's not tossing it at all. He's just dutting it. So if I'm, if I'm a batsman, I'm playing like a medium pacer. So just watch the ball and play him like a medium pacer. I don't think he's going to get any spin because he's just pulling it nice and flat. Brings in the left here, Irfan Kareem now on strike. Have a look at Nelson Oyambo. And I wonder if Kareem's going to just give him the charge a bit. Use your feet because he's a tall man. He can get to the pitch of the ball quickly. And he just pushes it away again to long off. The singles do not hurt them at all. The singles do not hurt them. Somebody has got to take charge. What is the instruction from the dugout? Do you think somebody's going to rush in with the gloves now saying, excuse me, you guys, do you know this is a T20? It's like the 13th over is about to come to an end. You can't be taking singles all the time and giving all sorts of dot balls. We better send Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, one that was tossed up. And I think Nelson wasn't quite expecting it. Was tossed up, a rare one. You, say, you said correctly that they were darting it in. The first one tossed up, I thought it might go over the boundary line. That's what I call good balling. You can read the batsman, he's still expecting it to come fast. He hold it a little bit, he, he definitely deceived uh, Nelson. Last ball of the over, only three runs off it so far. The end of the 13th over, they have to push it along. Now short, cut away once again. Brilliant defeated by Adela, I think it is at uh, backward point. And that will end another very tight over by Irie. Only three runs off it, 13 gone, 69 for three. I've seen, I've seen the water running in the over before, so I don't know why there was a message to say, come on boys, change your gear a little bit. In which language? Because they haven't seemed to hurt. Oh, ek, 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 nai, 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 nai. We need sixes at the moment. In Kiswahili, we say twende. 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 Which is? Change your gears now, let's go. That's if you have them. If you're saying, you know, get to the second, third, fourth gear. And particularly for Kareem, well, it's time because he's been there for very long. The first wicket fell, well, ages ago. That's when he walked in and he looked very pleasing, I must admit. Very good outside the off stump, cool outside the leg. But, um, I, you know, he's got to push it along because it's going to create more and more pressure on Nelson and the batsman still to come. Oh, down leg. And he was tricked, went on the back foot. Big high back lift. Oh, has he put his bat down? That could be tragic. Will they go upstairs to the third umpire? Because Nelson was only ambling, didn't put his bat down. That could be tragic if they go up. Oh, no. And he's Nelson. gone up. He had you. Oh. He's definitely gone up. But very, very, very good piece of feeling and a good draw. He didn't hesitate at all. If Nelson is out because he hasn't grounded his bat, that will be less than a schoolboy error. And we have to send Mr. Ticolo down to do something about this. Uh, if we try and take a look at the replays, if we can. But I just suspect that he was only lolling, hanging around, not putting his bat down. And the throw came in, it was a direct throw. Direct throws can beat the best, even when you're diving. 
Yeah, quite interesting, but it looks like the fielding team is not expecting anything at all. They've taken their positions ready to ball. I can see the water coming in, the gloves. This is something to say that, please, guys, accelerate a little bit. Yeah. Well, it's time that some water or gloves were sent in with a message. But uh, our TV umpire is Dennis Angara. And uh, I wonder if he is all set to take a decision. We'll know soon. Let's move. You didn't look out, though. I think uh, he may survive, Dennis, although Nepal will not take that too kindly. But our two umpires for the day, David Odiambo and Charles Gariuki. Quite experienced. David Palmer has done a lot of one dayers. Now he's an ICC qualified umpire. So he's been doing a lot of one dayers and T20s. While well, we begin, nevertheless, as Pawan Saraf continues. Cracked away on the offside, there is plenty of cover there, so that'll again be only a single. He keeps playing that shot, and it's a handsome looking shot, but it's fetching only one, Irfan. Let's see, let's see the fielding. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. he's all right. Oh. But he entered, he, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't drag his bed in at no. all. Maybe he spotted the throw coming in and uh, plonked his bat down, but uh, that could have been dangerous. Oh, the first sign of aggression. It came from Nelson. Do they take the two? They are taking the two. And that's the right thing to do. You hurry the fielder. Every once in a while, he takes his eye away from the ball. There was a wobble. The second was on. Well done, Kenya. And good running in between. Very, very, very good intensity. And that's what they've been asking for. Show some intensity. Show some intent if you want to hit the ball. And that's what uh, Nelson has done. It's shown that he really wants to hit the ball. He puts also the ball on the back foot. Yep, so now I wonder if Pawan Saraf's going to do something different because he now knows that Dennis Odiambo is ready to give him the charge. He missed that one off the inside edge to mid-wicket. Oh, tries to play the clever little turn to... Oh, Pawan is really bowling in good areas. He's really putting pressure. So he's asking you, you take the chance. I'm not going to take the chance. Well, not against that shot. Just a clever little late cut would have fetched him four, but he missed it completely. Dances down to long off. Luckily, he falls away short and to his left. Do they take the two? Yes, well, he's a tall man, Irfan Karim. As each one of his steps must be taking about four or five feet. So he ran back quickly to the non striker's end. That's good now. Of course, it went to the left of Karan KC at long off. So there was the opportunity. This is better from Nelson. At least he's showing some adventure here, showing some heart, dancing down to the off spinner. Wow. Good running. I think I think I, th I think you can read his mind. He he steps out and then he waits on the crease. So he makes the bowler takes a chance. And talking about making the ball take a chance is the end of the over. And the score is 76 for three. As we give Cheryl a break, Mr. Ticolo is in. One of the finest batsmen we have in the country and he's here to tell us now how we're going to tackle this team. We are looking for somebody to accelerate. Where do we go from here? I think the two guys have been on the wicket for quite some time now. Uh, they should look to up the tempo now. And as we say that uh, Nelson plays a cut shot to deep backward point for a single run. We don't need the single. Somebody's got, some, somebody's got to do some acceleration a little bit. Just accelerate a little bit. And then I talk, talk, talk about bowling. They have been bowling tight. The spin has been completely on top. The spinners are dominated. The seamers bowled very well initially, but the spinners have really hold it, held it well nicely. If one goes over the top, over covers, one bounce, two bounces, but it's only get two runs. He need to accelerate. We need a boundary somewhere. Yeah, once again, good shot from Irfan. Plays uh, inside out to deep uh, extra cover for two runs. Uh, like you said, Kennedy, I think uh, it's time Kenya now ups the tempo. If we're looking to get a good score that we can defend, a uh, score of about 120, 130 in these conditions, I think uh, we can give a good fight. And now picks another single. 
As the great Shen Wan says, it's you, you only know how good the surface is or how bad the surface is after the two teams are bedded on it. At the moment, it looks like it's quite a difficult surface for the Kenyans. They're still picking up singles. Singles will make a different Nelson so is on 16. If one is on 35, if one goes over the top, and oh no, easy, easy picked up the field. And that's the first shot he's trying to go over the top. And he picked up the, and he picked up the fielder. It's a tough one for Nelson, but he's been showing a good intent to try and go over the top. Yeah, that's a good catch in the deep there. Nepal pick up uh, their fourth wicket, Kenya 80 for four. But a good intent from Nelson uh, with about. Five overs to go, 5.2. It's time to up the tempo. Oh, it really, really tried. He didn't need, need to accelerate a little bit, but it's a bad. It's it's a bad pick. He picked up the long side. It's a little bit long on this other side of the field, and he picked up the fielder straight away. And Brad, that brings the end of Nelson, and that brings in Sachin, who is a very, very, very good hitter. He can really, really, really hit the ball well. Let's hope. He accelerates from here now. In comes uh, Sachin Budia at number six. Uh, good all rounder for Kenya. Uh, he's partnering up with uh, Karim now. Let's see if they can get Kenya to that 120, 130 mark. Oh, no, somebody's. Somebody's got to accelerate. If he can pick it up well, he plays spin very well on the domestic league. He's a good hit of spin, and he's been known for, good, for as a good striker. Yeah, he's got to try and strike now. But Aaron is also a very good baller. He's been really, really consistent on his areas. Yeah, there you go. He picks up a single, easy ones. But as you said earlier, ones will not make a difference. They'll make a small difference, but not a very, very big, very little difference. And the other thing uh, Kenyan batsmen have not done is uh, try to improvise. You know, play the sweep shot, the reverse sweep, uh, switch hit. And that is and that is the key when you're playing T20. Especially, they've, they're only for four, Steve. They've not been trying anything. It's only four wickets. Take a chance. Again, he cuts it. Looks to pick the run very hard. The first one, but no single midfield. They're only picking singles. If one Karim is going to, he's the left hander. He's going to try and look for a way to accelerate. And talking about the left hander, and the score is 82 for four. From here, Steve, where do you see us going? Six runs and over or with, five runs and over? With five overs to go, I would be looking at eight runs per over. Get about 40, 40, 40 plus. That lands you to the 120 mark. With 120 is a score that you can come out and fight and bowl and try and restrict Nepal in these conditions. And change of bowling is Sandeep. He's one of the best bowlers, so we have told he plays IPL. Still, Ifan picks up a single. It's much easier for Ifan to take him on because he's bowling into Ifan. Yeah, he's a left-hander, so take a chance with the leggy. The running in between also has not been up to the mark. I think the first run, we, the Kenyan batsmen are not running it fast to put the fielders under pressure. They've got to need to put them under pressure, and that's, and that's what you're saying. There's no intent to try and go over the top. You've got to try something, especially the position that you're in, and you've got wickets in hand. Oh, fast reverse shot, Steve. Talk about impro improvising. I like that. That's what I want to see, and that's why he's been brought in. He's a very good hitter. And you see, when you do that, you make the, bo the, the bowler also think. Bowler might change his length, might change his line, and you know, you get your boundary ball. Let's go. Let's see if he's going to try something again. That's it, Sachin. Good way. That's what I way to start. He's created pressure. It forced him to bowl a little bit shorter. He gets a single out of it. If one Karim is going to try and change the gears now, is the right time to try and do it now. We can't wait any more further. There are only four wickets down. Oh, what a catch!
catch. What a catch. But it's a short ball. If one can even try to exaggerate, but it's as hard as he can and hit it to the ball. And looks at Shari, Sandeep is in trouble. Looks at like he's in trouble. He's called straight away. He's called the physio in. But a very, 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 very good catch. That was a half trucker. Hit so hard by Karim. And what a good catch by Sandeep Lamichani. And that's a very, very, very good catch. And talking about Steve, him being a good ball and a good fielder, he's realized that now people have got to try and hit him. So he's not pitching it to, on your half. He's making sure that he pitches a little bit shorter so that can try and make. And that being the end of uh, of Ifan Karim, he's better, very, he's better, okay, not very, 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 very good, but at least he's holding the inning in between. He's not happy about his batting. Comes in, uh, Sachin now. We are depending on Sachin to try and accelerate, Steve. Yes, the incoming batsman is uh, Lucas Olwoj. Lucas is a big hitter for the Kenya team. Uh, let's hope that you know he can get those big shots and. Uh, Take the score to 120-130. Oh, it's going to be a tall order. He's known for big hitting. Well, Frank Hyman is still going to face this one ball left. He's got no time to settle in. He's got to accelerate straight away. He's got to change the gear straight away. Go right over the top. Nepal have really bowled well, Kennedy. Uh, They've restricted Kenya with good lines and lengths. Uh, the spinners have done a tidy job. And that's, and that's what we talk about. The Kenyan zone, apart from Sachin, was trying to play the reverse, of, reverse shot. We never tried anything. Oh, Lucas gets a, what do you call it, a lemon cut? But it doesn't matter at the moment. Kenya really need the runs, four runs. It doesn't matter how they come at the moment. was the wrong one. Got bottom edge. And Steve, they told him whether the tension was there. Because again, no chance. No chance. It was really, really, really moving. But good bowling. Good bowling from Sandeep. He's really creating pressure. Serious, serious pressure. There's a do there's one run, there's a dot, then there's one, then there's a wicket, then four runs, then a dot. And by the end of that, that's the end of the over. The Empire was still holding on. He was not sure whether it was the end of the year, but the score is 88 for 5. Four more overs to go in this Kenyan innings. With two new batters on the crease. The predicted score, like we were saying, 120 now looks a bit, a bit hard for the Kenya team. Don't hold them out. If Lucas and Sachin gets going, they're very, very good hitter. And talk about good hitting, this change of bowling. And the medium pacers are back. Ah, St. Paul is bowling, change of bowling. It's good. It's good. Let's see how he bowls on the depth. He bowls very well initially, Steve, in the, with the new ball. Let's see how he bowls on the depth. And he's bowling to two of the very 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 good hitters Yeah, then they go medium pace, is back, Sachin is there, he's facing, good one, let's see how Sachin goes. Oh, San Paul, misses his run-up, goes back again. San Paul Kami, opening bowler. Definitely going down leg, too much on the leg. 
That's, those are the runs they need to pick up. They need to pick up ones. If you don't get it, you get a boundary, you got to squeeze in a, a single somewhere. Keep the score ticking. Sachin misses out on that one. Just a little touch of the bat would have rolled down to fine leg for a boundary. Comes back again. Some Paul, can we get can we get a boundary somewhere? Come on, Sachin. Get it somewhere. Squeeze a boundary somewhere. Goes again on the leg. Oh, good fielding. And Sachin picks up the single. Nepal has done well in the field. They've stopped some runs. Sandeep took a very good catch. And at the same time, he got injury to strike very hard. Lucas, the reputation is here. This is, this is where he plays most of the games. So he must know where the wicket very well. This is home ground. Can he squeeze in a boundary somewhere? There's a field changer. The deep fine leg comes in and deep uh, mid wicket goes out. Oh, good blessing. But still only a single. Steps out. Lucas looking yeah. for the second run. And Sachin not interested. And the keeper is not happy. He's telling him you go to attack the ball. Throw it quickly. They have really put pressure on Kenyans. The boundaries have been scarce. Again, he tries Lucas, runs the first one hard. Can he get a single, second one? Picks up the ball, good fielder, good throw. Good around cricket there. It's the intensity is there. It's just some intent of trying to get the boundaries at the moment. Is it too late? And games like this, Steve, you need only two, one or two good big overs and you're back on it. Only two good overs. The first one, there he goes. Straight goes over the top. I didn't get enough power. Run the first one hard. Look for the second one. Runs hard. Good piece of feeling all the way around. Fills and throws it in. It's only two runs. Still no boundary, Steve. Again, they do very well in the field, Nepal. Fielding well, they're really fielding well, but being backed up by very good bowling. Very, very, very good bowling. They've been bowling in good areas. Again, he puts a lot of edge. Good shot. Is he going to get there? Oh, what a shot from Lucas. Kenyans needed a boundary. They've got one already. Can they squeeze in another one? But it's the end of the over. Since Lucas has come in, you know, he's shown intent. And uh, that was a bit lacking with the top order batters of Kenya. And that's what we've been looking for. We've been looking for a boundary. And talk about the boundary, it's the end of the over. And the score is 97 for five. Good. Lucas has shown very, very, very good intent, and it's really good. It's got, it's got reward for his efforts, Steve. Definitely, you know. Sometimes you look at uh, risk over reward, and you take a risk, and uh, you get the rewards. And that is the attitude that Lucas has come with onto the, onto the wicket. Yeah, it's very. We're talking about the runs. Runs are not coming, but crowds are still ticking, trickling in. It will be going to be bigger on Saturday. Sorry, not on Saturday. It's going to be quite big on Sunday. A swing and a miss. So he's bowling a little bit slower now. Sandeep is showing all his experience and why he's being rated as one of the best top bowlers. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! What a reverse shot! All the way for six! What a good shot! That's what I've been looking for. Exactly what a reverse shot, Steve. Things have changed these days in cricket. Yeah, beautiful shot there from uh, Sachin. The switch hit. And you know, we've been saying it. When spinners are bowling, look to play the reverse sweeps, look to play the normal sweep. 
Make him change his line and length. The good is put pressure on Sandeep. Let's see how he's going to respond. Oh, good ball. Good googly. Read it very well. And if Sandeep read it, read it but it very, very, very good googly. Gets a dot ball. That's how, that's what shows how class a baller he is. Comes back strong. Oh, another good shot from Sandeep. Massive, good six. Landed right on the boundary. Very, very, very good shot, Sandeep. This is what we've been looking for. We're talking about two. We're talking about two big overs. One of them is already presented itself. That's a good shot again from uh, Sachin. The conventional sweep hits it in the sweet spot into the terraces. Oh, good shot. That's what we've been looking for. And the Empire is checking the ball. It bounces there. He's putting pressure on Sandeep. He... Oh, good ball again. Sandeep doesn't pitch on his half. To get a quick single. Good running in between. That's what I've been looking for. They have already got what, Steve? It's dot 13 six runs, dot six. Thirteen with one ball to go. Yeah, that's a good one. They've really put pressure. Can Lucas accelerate and make it a bigger over of about 18? If you can get a boundary on this one, it'd be very good. Oh, Lucas goes. His favorite area. Will it go for four? Yes, it is. Four runs from Lucas. It doesn't count, doesn't matter how they come, we still it runs. This has been a big over for Kenya. 17 runs from it, with two overs left. Two more big overs. I see Kenya getting to 130, 140. Lucas is swinging very hard. Even if he misses, still get it. And that's the end of the over, and the score is 114 for five. Kenya need to put a good score on the board that they can look to fight and defend. What is yours is yours, Steve. Now, whenever they reach, they've got to fight for it. They've got to work hard. Yeah. But still, talking about it, still, they've got 12 balls, Steve. We can get another over of another 18 like that. It'd be very, very, very good. And 18 runs, that's all we need. 18, two sixes. Can be three sixes, four sixes. Of five sixes, we'll let we'll have it. But Sachin is milling it well. Sitsima is coming in, some Paul has come back again. Oh, tries to go across, moves across. I like the intensity, he's is making all the crease. And every time he's done that, you know, it has uh, paid off, he's gotten runs. So, in the T20 version, you've got to try and improvise. Yeah, that's good, yeah. But the ball already very well. The ball's a little bit wider. But showing his area. I want him to try and go, show him that he can also go extra, not only one direction. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. He's only going on one direction. Another swing and a miss. Try and show him also you can go extra. Extra, try and hit it a little bit more straighter. If you hit it more straighter, your chance of you getting a boundary are there. But Sir Paul is quite steady on his line. He's not bowling on his half at all. He's not trying to bowl Yorkers. Uh -huh. Again, a swing and a miss. Contact, Sachin. Try and get contact. Sir Paul, good bowling. Good bowling. Very, very, very good bowling. He's been the pick of the bowlers on the Nepal side. Uh, I think he's a very experienced customer. He's been around for Nepal for quite some time now. Three dot balls, watch the ball, watch the ball. Don't just swing, just you gotta watch it. Get contact. Oh, is that a big one? He's picked up a fielder and a very, very, very good catch. Good balling. Very, very good balling on good areas. He's really keep the pressure very well. Picked up the fielder and a very good very good catch. And that brings the end of Sachin. He's got 17 runs, but he's really tried to accelerate it very well. That's a good start from Sachin.
Steve. That's a very good hitting from Sachin and that brings Shem Goche. The captain comes in. He's also known to be a very good hitter. Yeah, Shem is a good finisher uh, with the uh, eight balls to go. Let's see how he goes. Oh, but he's a very good finisher. Steve talked about the bowling. He's bowled it well. He didn't bowl on his arm completely. He middled it, but he's straight away on the field. Now. Quite easy catch. Good catch there from the captain, Sandeep Lamichane. Deep square leg. Well, let's see now the captain. He's going to try and pick up. Who's going to catch? It's gone high. It's gone high. Oh, good yeah. catch. Oh, like the captain goes fast ball, tried to swing, but he has no go, no option but to swing. What a very good catch, Steve. He ran all day from the boundary. And to London take a, a good catch, it's outstanding. Nepal have been very good in the field. They've taken their chances. Uh, they've stopped runs. They've put pressure on the Kenyan batsman. That's a very good catch. Running in from the deep, he ran about 40 yards. Yeah. Take a good catch. Dipendra Singh Aire. Good catch from him. Good catch from Dipendra. And talking about the catch, one brother leaves, one brother comes in. Shem Goche leaves and comes in. Nemayo Diambo. Both brothers, they can. Both of them are very well known for hitting. Some Paul has been outstanding. Dot, dot, dot. Wicket, wicket. So he's bowled it steady. Oh, Lucas goes again and hits the stumps. Very good hit. He only, get, only gets a single. One run. Some Paul, good bowling. Excellent bowling from Some Paul. Creating up pressure. Finish on that over with two wickets. Yeah, and great pressure on the Ke on the Kenya and the score with one over to go is 115 for seven. That's a very good spell from Sompa. Very good spell from him. Senior pro in the team. He's done the job for his captain. And it's nice to see school boys coming in. Schools are it's going to be a very huge, huge, huge part of this process of rebuilding the Kenyan cricket team. So when we, the more kids we have, the better. And it's a chance they're going to watch Nepal in this country. This, I would say that there are five one days. Yeah. Casey Curran to bowl the last over. How many runs do you think Kennedy in the last over? Oh dear, now we need as many as we can, Steve. Can we get 36? If you get 36, six sixes, you're on pro. You're on the but let's be realistic. If we get 20, it will be a good one. About 15, 20 runs, the last over. Lucas, good, he good hitter. Karan is bowling. Lucas nearly took off his head. What a shot from Lucas. Nearly took off the bowler's head. Four runs. It was hit with a lot of authority. Good shot. Good slap back uh, past the bowler by Lucas. Very good finish again, Lucas, towards the end of the innings. And he's showing it. Oh, Steve, that was something. Went like a bullet. The bowler didn't have a chance to duck. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Took off plus the empire. What? Oh, is that a white? Away. Let's wait and see the empire. Oh no, he didn't pick a white. It's a dot ball. He looks like a wide, but the empire has kept his hands down. Dot ball. So there's a four, four runs, then a dot ball. He's not going to ball on Lucas half, Steve. There you go again, current pressure on him. He's moving the fielder. He's bringing the, is this the sweeper in, Steve? Deep square leg comes he's, in, takes a deep point. A deep point has gone down. So he's going to ball wider to him, to Lucas. Lucas, you're going to move outside off stump if he wants to hit it. But he's not going to ball on his half at all. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, Empire, Empire is saying he's sort of wide. 
we think we want the ball to be hit we think it's the, it's a, it's it's a wide empire is saying no wide at all but he moved well looks like karan is going to target the white line the wide white line i think like the empire is saying that he's walked across so he can't give a wide and Kanan has changed Steve he's going to attack him from round round the wicket there you go three balls can he get three boundaries so far he's been bowling well he's really he's got a ball away from Lucas oh Lucas go with a lot of authority again did he get the gap yes it is four runs a good shot from Lucas and the crowd loves it Lucas finishing on a high here that's a good shot to the mid-wicket boundary. Gives himself room and swings his shoulders to the deep, deep, deep mid-wicket boundary. Good shot. Karan, Karan, I think you could have stuck where you were bowling from this side. Bowling away from him, it's more difficult. He's only looking to go on that side of the wicket. Mid-wicket area that looks as his favorite area. But he's a big boy and a strong boy. If you ball on his half, he's definitely going to get a hold of you nicely. Oh, what a shot! Six runs! You can't ask for anything more than that. What a shot! Very good shot. What a start. Lucas is showing his power. Mid wicket side ball wider. He's gone completely over. It's a beautiful shot from Lucas. Goes deep into the crease and hits him over long off. He's creating a lot of pressure on Karan. Karan has gone already for 14. Last ball. What is going to happen on this last ball? Lucas. Karan. Oh, ball the short ball. They fight run the first one hard. Can they run the second one? Oh, easy run out. Easy run out. Good shot and a good finish from Kenya. That's exactly what you're expecting. You're looking for 120. They've got 10 runs more, Steve. What a start from Lucas. Very, very, very good hitting. Last ball was a short ball, and they only run two runs. But what one run, what a start from Kenya. And Kenya is going to defend 130, Steve. Is it good? Is it enough for them to defend? In these conditions, uh, overcast conditions, and uh, we get a bit uh, spongy, uh, it's a uh, pass I would say. Yeah, it's, going to be, it's going to be a tough one, but they're playing at home. If they can put in a lot of pressure.
kept on going to him on the leg area and he kept on getting runs on that area and that he made it very 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 hard for the for, for the bowlers those are the two boundaries he got on the leg side so they found it a little bit harder to go to a left under and you know being a touch player you found only needed just to get the bat on the ball to get those boundaries uh it was a bit of an offline from the bowler and that's and that's the one area that nepal is going to work on because he's going to be betting up the order yeah uh on that area that we got said collins came in but collins oh, it's still a little bit more a little bit impressive but i know initially the ball swung a little bit so the, i thought they thought that they would go with the betting strong up the order but it didn't work but if you look at the areas that they were hitting they were very 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 good areas a little bit of midfield but everything went nepal's way from there and for the crew really didn't get so much boundaries this was nelson Oziambo. Again, used the crease very well, cut the ball to deep point for a boundary. Very nice use of his hands. And that is going to be the challenge for the Kenyan Steve. It's, it's, it's they, they played very well in beaten pieces. And that's what makes you win or lose. So that the difference between 130, 140 or 150 is those small steps that you take in the middle. They didn't take those steps very well and they found themselves to get only 130. But that's all they have at the moment. They've got to try that's Lucas and see there. if they're going to get that score. Lucas came in and showed intent. And uh, every time he got bat on ball, he got the rewards. And, that, and, that, and that's what you're looking for. And that's, uh, Lucas came in with a lot of intent. And if you, if, you, if you look at the areas that he hit, he hit on that area. And he proved to, to me that he can also hit it on the off. Ball it one and went completely extra covers for a massive shot. And and that's wrapped up. And then you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the wickets, how the wickets fell, how they got their wickets. They ball into certain areas and they created pressure. This was Alex, went over extra cover, went for a shimmy down the wicket and hit the ball over extra cover. Such a very difficult shot to play. Collins picked a good length and hit it over deep mid wicket for six. Initially we showed you guys the fours, now we're getting to the sixes, but there were not so many sixes apart from Sachin Budia and he came into Sachin Budia got some sixes and then towards the end Lucas was very 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 impressive with the sixes with the three sixes that he got. Is it two sixes or two one six Steve? There goes Lucas again over long off. Just cleared his left foot off off the way and swung his bat to over extra long off. And that's and that's the area that we wanted. If you're looking at the wickets, the way the wickets fall, the wicket fall. The wicket fell very easily. Start from Alex Obanda, misjudged it completely. Straight ball, he got a shocker. They, and that's what I dream of a ball, of an opening baller, Steve. Eat on top of off stump. He bowled it in good areas. Collins of weird size goal over the top and just sneaks it up up there. They do, uh, but at that moment, Steve, they create a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure from, from Nepal ball, and they created that pressure to be able to get the wickets. And Collins was looking to maximize the power play. I think he just lost his shape there playing that shot. And then from there, in for there was a wide ball initially, very, very, very good keeping. A safe, good movement. But talking of good keeping, and then he came back. Keep it. I thought he was quite unlucky with that one, Steve. Uh, he misread the, the line of the ball. It was the wrong one coming back into him. Uh, we, 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 we would speak about coming back to him, but I thought it was a little bit of unlucky. The ball swung a little bit in, and the rest were just sketches. They tried to go, they tried to accelerate, and they couldn't accelerate at all. Is it kind of that? Is it, I don't know whether it's going to be that kind of wicket that's not, it does, you don't have to look for 160, 170. Is it good enough? Or are they short by 10 runs? Can they prove to us that it's a tough wicket to ball to bet on? And that is the beautiful Nairobi Gymkhana. Beautiful ground, good setup. We've got a drone going right on top. 
of the field and we are definitely looking forward for a very good chase and that's the end and a good chase kenya is going to chase 130 kenya scored 130 for seven and they've got to depend defend 130 kenya needs to bowl less than 6.5 runs and over nepal needs 6.5 runs and over or seven runs and over and they're definitely on top and i just say goodbye for now for the first half we catch up with you guys on the second half where it's going to be quite interesting for both teams kenya need to defend 130 nepal needs to get 130 to win it's going to be quite an exciting on the first t20 at nairobi gymkhana see you in a bit
away from the Nepal openers. They have 131 to make. We would think not too difficult, but who alone knows? It's time to see how well Kenya bowled trying to defend the 130 they scored. Steve, your thoughts on the bowling? Uh, Elijah Otieno opens the bowling for Kenya, starts off well with the dot ball. Elijah has been around uh, for the Kenya team for some time now. Hits uh, good areas and uh, moves the ball both ways. Elijah bowling from the commentator's end. Good delivery first up this one. More bounce. Nice carry. And once again a false shot by uh, Pawan Saraf who is opening for Nepal. A little lower bounce the first ball. A little higher the second. Both times he tried to play an aggressive shot and Pawan Sh Saraf failed. The keeper, Irfan Karim, tall youngster, son of uh, another Kenyan legend, Asif Karim, put in a nice knock today, 13 change. But I would love to see more aggression for him, form from him in the future. Third ball. Very wide. Will that be declared one? No. Saraf looks at the umpire saying, come on. But uh, again, that aggressive square cut attempted. And uh, he has not been able to touch the ball. Time for a bit of a conference between the two players inside there, saying, what, are you finding it difficult to sight the ball? What's going on here? And also out of the three balls, I think the two balls have died down towards the keeper. So it looks like the wicket may be double faced. Yeah, well, that's not great news for any batsman when you come in first. Again, a swing and a miss. Again, just inside that suggested line for the wides. Well, I tell you what, short and wide, those should have been cracked away for boundaries. But uh, a little tentative, perhaps, that swing. Definitely, yeah. And uh, like we saw with the Kenya batting, it looked as if it was not an easy wicket to come in and just play the big shots. Well, I'm sure that uh, Nepal will be disappointed because the balls have been there to be square cut for four. There is a backward point, a third man at the boundary. One slip. Much better. Finally gets some back to ball. Tentative running. Rakit Patel run. comes in from the covers. Yeah, good run in the end, but uh, there was a little bit of yes and no there. Anyway, first runs on the board for Nepal. I'm sure some nerves will be settled. And of course, Pawan Saraf with that gentle tap to the covers. Elijo Tieno goes again. Holds it a bit wide. Asif plays it to deep point where there's protection. And they get one. Lucas, Lucas Oluoc. Lucas Oluoc. Opening from the Forest Road end. Yeah, he's not helping us by not wearing a number, but Lucas it is. And some fine hitting from Lucas as he comes round the wicket. That's a little strange for a right handed bowler straight away to come round the wicket. Lefty, I beg your pardon. Okay, so there we go. No wonder. Let me get that right. Over the wicket. Oh, that in the air hit from the upper part of the bat, and he's so lucky. Mohamed Asif Sheikh that it didn't carry to short mid wicket. I think the ball hurried on to him. Yeah, Lucas uh, bowls heavy balls. He's, he's a strong lad. And uh, so, at times his ball rushes the batsman. Well, we can make out he's a big boy. And the way he hit that ball when he was batting, he can clear the boundary at will. I still say they're at least 20 runs short, according to me. But it was a nice acceleration towards the end by Kenya to get to that 130 mark. So some challenge in there. Some possibilities for Kenya. 
Ah, drifting down leg. That's what you don't want now, Kenya, because you don't have enough runs on the board. And if you're going to give extras away through wides, then I'm sure the bowling coach might have uh, something to say. Definitely, yeah. You know, those are extra runs and extra balls you're giving to Nepal to chase down a small target of 130. Another so, you look. know, you wouldn't want that. No, sir. Another look at the keeper, Irfan Karim, one of the taller keepers I've seen. Number one. Likes that number, doesn't he? He moved in first gear most of the time. Much better. Oh, they take a single. They've snuck it in. That's good thinking. Mohamed Asif Sheikh just drops it in front of him. Quick call. Good run. Good run again from Nepal. I think we didn't see this during Kenya's innings. Yep, you were watching. <laughs> Steve, you're right. I think they missed a few opportunities in the infield when the big shots weren't coming. But to be fair, initially, the first few overs, the Kenya batsman couldn't get much bat on ball. So if you know you can get that, can't take the single. One slip for Oluwatch. And uh, backward point. Cover, extra cover. It was well in to prevent the single. Oh, that should be taken easily. Who's going to get underneath? Mid-wicket does. That's the first wicket. Pawan Saraf trying to clear the infield, get the upper half of the bat once again. particularly in the power play early on because a score like 130 you can just push the ball around singles you can cruise there without much trouble but if they pick wickets up and if Nepal is safe 50 for 5 then you're talking trouble so Nepal will be aware of that and they'll do whatever it takes to make sure that they don't give any more wickets away even though in the power play they get 30 35 they should be okay because this is really a not a high chase a heavy chase definitely yeah like we said earlier on, 130, Kenya will have to bowl very well to win this game. Well, some people just running in front of the side screen to make sure it's in the right place. Because uh, Lucas Oluwatch is coming from over the wicket as a lefty bowler. And uh, maybe, Steve, you can give them uh, a little advice to have maybe wider side screens as we go along. But, uh, you know, hey, listen, make no mistake, I'm really happy to be here. Big cricket is back. There's excitement all over Nairobi, all over Kenya, and, and Nepal too, and other cricket-playing nations. A little wider side screen, maybe. Because if he changes his ends, uh, bowling over now when he comes around, will have to be shifted again. Oh, yes. Bounce and carry. You used a great word. Ball's a heavy ball, does Lucas. And that's what Kenya requires, uh keep testing the batters that was a very good ball from lucas angled across the right hander he's got that ability to move it across the right hander i don't see much movement in the air from lucas that's because he does try and use a lot of shoulder balls are heavy but as long as he balls good tight lines there is a slip now ah down leg wrong line can't give these easy runs away but uh, maybe I'm being too critical he has taken a wicket very important from Kenya's perspective well he hits the gym hard doesn't he <laughs> yeah he's, he's a stocky fellow works hard on his fitness and on his bowling also Colin Zabuya is at first slip Irfan Karim the keeper they are waiting for that edge. Edge! Or does it drop just in front of the keeper?
also the new conditions. Uh, True. They've never played in Nairobi, so they wouldn't know how the wicket is playing. Well, at least they should be used to cool conditions because up in Nepal it can get really cold. It snows a lot too. Uh, it is a Himalayan kingdom. But uh, in the summer, it does get very hot as well. Here too, in Nairobi, what's the high temperatures that you get? Nairobi, 28, 29. Really? 30. Wow, you guys are spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is cool through the year then. And I believe the night temperatures now are maybe in the early teens, 10, 11, 12 yeah, somewhere? Yeah, 10, 11, 12. Fabulous. I think because it's also we are on the equator, mm -hmm. so the weather is nice and pleasant. Well, equator can get really hot if you're not 5,500 feet high. <laughs> Elijah continues, Elijah Otieno. He bowled many balls short and wide. And uh, let's see whether it can be better handled now by the man on strike. Oh, slipped out, I think. Very wide. You could almost see it from the commentary position just slipping out of his hands, his fingers. And a very good job done by Karim. That True. was four written all, all over it. <laughs> well, take a look how quickly Karim moves to his left. Well done. He's a tall man. That helps. Usually keep us about a foot shorter than Karim. Steve, I know you're dying to go down and talk to him, but <laughs> you will not have the chance. One way down leg, tried to correct, overcorrected, way down off. He's really giving Kareem a workout. Looks like he hasn't gotten his run up right. Just needs to relax a bit and focus on what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, Collins, a boy, I'd slip. I'd be a little worried. The ball's going to come to him directly. <laughs> okay, Alija. Where's the third one? Straight on middle stump. Come on. Yes, very handsomely played. Mid-off was in the circle. At Miroff, no chance at all. Easily recognizable because of that, well, rather long hair. Very stylish. What's the comeback now? Oh, well, old. Again, kind of died on him, didn't it? Because mm. it went first bound to the keeper. And, and no ball! A oh, no! Two wides, a four, now a no ball. Elijah letting your side down. A free hit now for Malla. And expect him to give it the big tonk. And nothing as good as this for a batsman to get a free hit in the power play. True. <laughs> Although he's just come in, but he hit that sweet boundary over mid-off some time back, so he's seen the ball well enough. And now, of course, it's the same batsman. You cannot change the field. You've got a mid-off, cover, backward point, a slip, and three men in the circle on the onside as well. Uh, fine leg inside the circle at 45, or mid-wicket, and a mid-on. That's the inside field. He can go anywhere over at will. And he does to the left of Nehemiah. That's going to be another wonderful boundary off that free hit. A bonus for Nepal. Cracking shot there from Mala. Just stood in his crease. Elijah was looking for the yorker length, but didn't execute. Well, that's a tough ball, the yorker. I mean, we know it's one of the finest deliveries anywhere, anytime, any cricket. But it's so difficult to get it just right. Either it's in the slot for the big hit, or of course, it's a low full toss. Both go for boundaries. They have to be so precise. Very few bowlers, Steve, who can bowl a yorker, a good yorker, at will. Much better. Good length. Good line. Elijah, this is what we expect from you, yes? The yoke length is a very difficult art to execute. You have the greats like the Malingas who did it consistently. But a lot of bowlers struggle with that. I must confess, Jaspeed Bumra is a ex fabulous exponent of the yoker, for one. 
Oh. Whoa! What's going on here? Even the very tall Irfan Karim can't dive quickly enough to his left. That, I'm afraid, Steve, was a, wa a no ball because it uh, has to stay inside the striking crease. And uh, that's more trouble for Kenya. Very disappointing. Yeah, Elijah looks like he's struggling with his run up. See him keep on counting his steps and marking. He hasn't gotten his run up right. Well, you're very kind. I think he hasn't gotten many things right because those were wild down the leg side. Another free hit. Oh, puts his hand down to it at some cost, no doubt. Unable to get underneath that Malla. So, uh, well done off that free hit, giving nothing away. I think he might have hurt his hand a bit, though. He bowled a slower one, I think. Yeah. This was a slow one. Good option. I think that's what he was trying to bowl when he keeps going down leg. It slips away from his hand. Well, that's been a very good over for Nepal. Well done up in the air. There is a cover sweeper. Mala helps himself to another single. This is getting to be a really long over, Steve. Will it end? <laughs> so far, he's bowled three extra balls. So we're talking about a nine ball over. Well, four extra, really. Two no balls, two wides. The first two were wides off either side of the wicket. Then two no balls. Very expensive. Oh, boy. Looks like he's struggling. Well, I've got to say, this is rather basic. You know, you've got to mark your run up and... You almost never miss it then. But, um, of course, in modern cricket, the team support team goes out there and marks a little bit of paint for each of the bowlers, the lead bowlers at least. Yeah, well done into the covers. Good ball. Every once in a while when he's on line, looks good enough, but this is, uh, well, not a very good over for Kenya at all. Nepal 23 for one. Mohammad Asif Sheikh, the wicketkeeper, has been there for a while. Has uh, no. Oluwatch comes again. It's very unlucky last ball of his last over where it took an under edge and didn't quite carry to the keeper. Yes, and you know, he's hit very good, uh, good lines and length. Again, starts off very well. Controls the, the, the damage done by Elijah on the other end. <laughs> oh boy, that was a rough over for Kenya. And I wonder if he's going to get another over to try and resurrect himself. But we got a slip. Colin Zaboya is still there, waiting for the edge. No. Very well played, but straight into the covers. I must say he's been getting behind the ball well, Gyanendra Malla. A sweet, lofted drive over mid-off, the previous over for four. And of course, not the benefit of a free hit as well. And he's one of the batters who's been around for Nepal. I think the first time I met him was 2016 in New Zealand. Ah. Again, plenty of bounce and so well played. Just drops it down towards Quelleg. It's clever batting. Didn't try and be expansive with it because on a short ball, every once in a while, he's practicing the shot now. I was about to say, every once in a while, you get tempted into the hook. <laughs> I'll say it again, though, Steve, since we have a little lull here. I'm so glad that there's big time cricket in Kenya or international cricket at any rate. My first time here, I'm loving it. It would be so nice to have Kenya make a fist to this, make a battle of trying to defend 130. No, no, no. He doesn't seem to be getting too much timing there, Pawan Saraf. He's been there for quite a while, but he might want, there you go, change a bat. It did look like he wasn't striking it well enough. He's played some handsome shots, 
but they haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, with no power, yeah. And most of them have gone to the fielders. Yeah, well, took the words out of mouth. I was about to say it didn't look like he was timing it well at all, but it looks like there's a problem with the bat. Maybe a crack right at the bottom. And uh, just a lull here till the umpires alarm around the bat. They have to if the bat is cracked or whatever, otherwise not playable. Doesn't look like it has a crack, but he's certainly pretty unhappy with it. So what was happening in New Zealand, Steve? Uh, it was a qualifier for the 50 over World Cup. Mm. where Kenya was also taking part, Nepal was part of it, uh, Ireland, uh, Scotland. How did that finish for Kenya? Kenya, we finished, I think, fourth, so we mm. did qualify for the World Cup. Well, it's all going to happen for Kenya now that we've restarted. And I wish you guys luck because, uh, I mean, there were some very exciting players such as yourself and others many years ago. We need that to return to Kenya. The world's waiting. I still can't find good timing. But I must say, he's in, you know, hitting a slightly back of the length heavy ball, Lucas Oluoch. And uh, both Asif and uh, Mala not really taking him on. The one who did is back in the pavilion because the ball got too big on him, tried to pull from outside off. And uh, spooned an easy one to mid wicket, the, the first wicket to be lost today. Don't tell me he's missing his uh, <laughs> run-up as well now. Very fortunate Nepal in their first match playing under very different conditions to be given a low total to chase. And uh, they have the luxury of not playing too many big shots. As long as they don't lose wickets, they should be able to walk to that 131 they need. Oh, once again, no timing there at all for Pawan Saraf. Very tentative. Had no commitment on that off drive. The batsman. <laughs> oh. Well, that could go all the way to the boundary, and that'd be sad, really. Well done as he pulled it back now. So, bye is, I think, uh, Irfan Karim also maybe nursing a sore foot because it did hit his foot and then go. And again, no bounce. That one kept low for sure. Yeah, I think that got uh, Irfan Karim on the pad, so he's okay. Much better. Mayan Goche, senior brother to the captain, Shem Goche. He's also been around for the Kenya team for some time now. One of the senior players in the team. Well, you guys are tricking me because it says Odiambo and of course he's Ngoche. So, you know, Steve, you've got to explain this to me sometime. <laughs> Cracked away. Will he get to it? Oh, good dive put in. But he cannot keep the ball inside the boundary line. That's what we like to see. A good effort there by Sachin Budia. Played a good knock earlier on. Good shot there from Mala. Square cut. Good effort from Sachin, but unable to stop it from rolling onto the boundary. 
Well, that was a shot that had been trying to play for quite a while off uh, the other bowler, who didn't bowl too well the first over, but just couldn't get that square cut going. That, I have to say, was from the middle of the bat. <laughs> Drifting down leg, should be another boundary. Most world-class batsmen, if you bowl down their pads, Yeah, and that is meat and drink for Mala. No Giant strides trying to defend that 130. He still has a slip. Still waiting to find that outside edge. Oh, once again, big swish and a miss by Mohammad Asif Sheikh of Nepal. Could so easily have edged that to the keeper. I think it went beneath the bat. This. Well, he's really working up a decent pace. And uh, the right terminology really is a heavy ball. He hits a uh, just backward of length. Difficult to put away. Ah. That's a waste. Yeah, another extra ball, extra run. Kenya cannot afford this because of the total that they have on the board. Need to be a bit disciplined. Well, it could work both ways. If Kenya are going to win this, of course, it'll be fabulous for the country, the cricket supporters, for the players themselves, all the fans and the youngsters. If it doesn't, it might just G them up.
I think his business area is that three quarter length bread and butter bowl. Collins of Boyard slip, still waiting for the edge. Good call in the gap. Good the ball get, yeah, it's good the cricket by Nepal there. Usually, we say after a boundary, the batsman needs to take a single and rotate the strike. It's, it's not good cricket from them. Yeah, not unless it's there for the hit again. <laughs> but if it isn't, yep, take the single because dot balls, and there were so many in the Kenya innings, really, Steve, that was very disappointing. Definitely, yeah. I think uh, they'll need to have a real look at how they want to approach their innings. Again, can't quite find the timing. This time, Ganendra Malla. Good enough for one. Except for that boundary, not such a bad over. But it was a superb square cut. <laughs> the throw wasn't much, but it was a good, loud call by the non-striker. That's what we like to see. Decent over by Lucas, his third gone. Boundary line. Mid off is in though. Got to be a little careful. Nehemiah is inviting the batsman to go over mid off. And of course, three men on the leg side. There's a fine leg on the boundary line at about 45. There's a deep square leg and a deep mid wicket, I think. I can't see. Perhaps a long on. No, there's a mid on. No deep wicket. Where's the fifth boundary rider? They have four. Four on the boundary. Oh. They're not using the fifth one. Well done. That's brave. Kenya. Like to see that. Just preventing the easy singles from being taken. Again, stays very low. Karim does so well to take that clean. That's a little worrying. The ball staying low on quite a few occasions now. Steve? Yeah, definitely uh, from a batting perspective as a batsman, you don't want to see that. And also the keeper, the ones that bounce in front of you, it's not very easy to take. Well, and uh, Kareem is not quite wearing a helmet, so I hope he doesn't, well, I hope he keeps safe. Again, very low. Oh boy, this is not good to see. I think the curator will have to be hmm, given a talking to by Steve Ticolo. <laughs>
some tight bowling. Elite was not impressive at all. Too many extra ball, extra runs to even free. Freebies were given. He looked like he was struggling with his run up and he got it all wrong. But uh, Lucas did a very good job from the other end. I thought he bowled well. I bowled to a lot of energy, but he hit the wicket hard. But these are professional players. They should be spot on. Especially when you're playing at Gymkhana. You've been playing here for a while. Change of bowling. Shem, Shem gets the bowling. Oh, a little bit of football there, which is not impressive at all. As Shem comes back to Shem. The betting has been from Asif, has been outstanding. He's been presenting the face of the first bet, the face of the bet very well. Oh, another football again, but still pick up a single. Is it the surface low or I still see Kenyan bowlers are not putting enough effort into it? A number of deliveries have kept low. Swing and a miss. Especially in the three-quarter length short ball. A number of them have just gone down low. So I think that's something they must utilize. And if it's keeping low and the ball now is it's going to be a little bit older. So it make, can make use of that and make scoring be difficult. Well stop. Well done. That's good um, from my own bowling. That's what you expected to do if you're a spinner. We'll work hard to stop them. Closer to you. Try and stop. Picks up another single again. They are cruising easily. Kenyans must try and create pressure. Don't, don't let the singles go and don't let the boundaries go. Try and create pressure. 48 runs, 7 overs. Oh, big hit. Just to go extra, but I think it's going to take a single. They're looking for two. Good fielding from Alex. Picks up the ball, chucks it in, only gets a single. Talk about the single, that brings us the end of the over, and the score is 49 for one. Right on the middle. And yeah, that's Santa. Thank you, sir. That's I'm over. Five left. Nehemi Odiambora start gets a wicket. If you can get two, as they say, 
I hear all the keepers say one brings two and two brings three. You can create that pressure. But Nepalis have been bearing very well. They've been outstanding with their bearing. And they're not chasing a big score so they can afford to pick ones and twos. Seems like they dis this disturbance uh, by the side screen. I don't know what's going on there. Neymar starts off well his second over. Oh, it's a short ball, but no energy at all. Very quick picked up from Roy. Picks as his first boundary on his first ball. What a start from Roy. Get an easy boundary name. If you're going to ball a bouncer, you've got to put him some energy on it. But not take nothing away from the batsman, right? Just guided it down for four runs. If Nehemiah can pitch it up on the same area that he's been rolling them, it would be nice. But Nepalis are still on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Runs it down easily. Picks one. Wait, 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 wait. No. Good fielding from Raj. And good throw. Nehemiah back again. Single. They have to look for a way to get a wicket, Steve. They need a wicket. And if they can't get a wicket, this is the period they need to cut off the boundaries, make it difficult for Nepal. Yeah, very, very, very important. They've got to cut down the boundaries and t squeeze it in a little bit. Create pressure on two, three overs. Good ball. They pick up a single. They're still sleeping. Who is that fielding on the boundary? Good pickup. Good single by the N N Nepalis. They're running very well in between the wicket. But if you're feeling in the inner circle, Steve, you got to stop the single. That's your job. You got to pick up the batsman. And the moment it tries to block it, you run in. You rush in quickly, and make sure it doesn't pick one. Right, what a start is on five. He looks good. Oh, catch! No run, catch run fast on quickle. Look for the second. Look at get a good run. Good run in between. Oh, what a throw. But take away Rohit. Rohit was really, really in trouble, but he made it through. And this is what uh, Nepal have done well so far. Running in between the wickets has been good. They've put the Kenyan fielders under pressure. And that's what it's all about, especially 2020. If there's no energy, different story. Good picks up, picks it up very well. Couldn't like his stance. One goche to another goche. Off spinner, fast bowler, spinner. Let's see if he can create the pressure. Shame his brother's ball in good areas. Create pressure, guys. If you're in the inner circle, stop the single. Good yeah. stop. For a start, Steve, it's a good shot, but for no run at all. Goche, just keep it tight. Keep it tight. Tight. Nepalis will try to get singles one and two. Again, picks up an easy single. Oh, good, good fielding from Rakeb. Did Rakeb was a chin. Good fielding. If the key picks ones and twos, they'll be definitely be there. You need it's about 60 balls. Cuts it up easily. Go for the second one. I like the energy of running in between. They're running quickly, the Nepalis. They're like looking for twos while Kenyans were jogging in between the wickets. 
So you're not getting enough pressure. Good bowling. Steve talking, uh, talking about the structures that we need to move forward from where Kenya is to the next level. What do you think? Where we should we go from here? I think uh, domestically, keep playing a lot of games. Uh, we have the 50 over, then the T20. And uh, down, down the lane, if we can also play the longer version, maybe start off with two-day cricket, three-day cricket, to expose the players to the basics of the game, the, the, how to execute your skills, will really help. Yeah, that's good ball from Goshi. Do you think it will make a big difference with the counties coming in? We'll come back to and talk about more of Kenyan cricket. Uh, get the counties involved while we still have the Collinses around you need to groom players who will take over from them so I think it's a good route we've taken but it needs a lot of hard work uh, people need to come together and work for the county cricket to grow yeah, talking about county cricket, county cricket is going to be very, very, very crucial. It's something which I'm very passionate about. I think we're going to make the game grow outside, the Nairobi, outside Nairobi. If it gets to the county, it will make a big difference. And we'll get a lot of young boys who will be interested. Now it's something that the government is looking to make into a curriculum. So it's definitely going to be part of the curriculum as a sport. They're jumping away from rounders to cricket for both boys and girls. So I think the future it looks very bright talking about the future coming back to nelson and he started rolling them steve looks like there's a spot where if you hit as a bowler the ball just stays low That's especially it. from this end of uh, city end so the bowlers who are bowling from this end must mark that spot and just keep hitting it there it's a good area to ball into if they can maintain that kind of pressure. He's cut, I see he's cut on his run up still. He's, uh, wide. That's a wide ball. Tight swing, but a good in swing. He's cut on his run up. He's like he's looking to it to li line and land. Rather than trying to uh, attack the stumps, they were used to attack the stumps with a little bit of pace. Generally, Nelson has been a bowler who just bowls line and length, stump to stump. And he does. Uh, the job for the team is a very economical bowler. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! One bounce, two bounces for four. What a good shot! Picked him up very well. That was a half tracker from, from him, and uh, with his pace, it's easy for the batter to go deep mid wicket. Yeah, he picked it up very well. We waited for the ball and picked up a very, very good boundary. Good shot for four with his pace he's going to try and ball, ball a little more straighter and fuller better catch no catch picks up a single easy 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 one and they're cruising easily We're not creating enough pressure, but there's no enough energy again. I keep on repeating this every time. There's no enough energy among the boys. They don't believe they can defend this. You've got to believe for you to defend it. Okay, another shot on the leg. They run the first one very quickly from Roy. Roy runs the second one. Excellent running and good placement.
And Rich is going very quickly. Ten runs already. Good shot again. Looks for two runs. The first one hard. Oh, no run. Oh, That's good, good fielding, fielding from Viraj. That's what you want to see, good fielding, but they've got to create pressure. And that's the end of the 10th over, it's right, right in the middle. Time of the year, Steve. It's always been a betting paradise when we played. This is the time of the year that the batsmen dominate. Yeah, and I think it's because of uh, I think global warming. Uh, the weather has changed all over the world. Uh, this is a time where we used to have good sun and we used to enjoy playing the game under the sun. And change of bowling? Patel. It's not sunny, but he's decided to bowl with his glasses. It's going to be an interesting one. What a start, what a start from the young man, what a start. That's the ball that you want to see, first ball is a dot ball. Now nice, Steve, he's playing as a special spinner. It's a single. One run. Is it singles or singles? Is what the Nepal is needs. Just keep on ticking the score. Get closer to the target. It becomes much easier when you're closer. No! Good wicket keeping. But the dot ball. Started well. Can he create that pressure? No! Oh, good fielding, good fielding, good bowling. Once again, good. Looks like he's varying his pace very well. Yeah, he's varying it Come nicely. On, slow on. Two balls to go. See, it's going to pitch it nicely. Oh, goes off the top. Catch. Is that a catch? Good catch from Rake. Beautiful catch. Okay, good catch. We we're just, we're just talking about it. We're variating the pace. Steve, ball Patel, caught Patel. Yeah, that's Classic. A, that's again a good ball. Tosses it up, he's not afraid to toss it up. Butter goes for it. And it, that's a good catch by Rakeb Patel on the boundary. If you look at why, that's why it's a good catch. Why, why, why he's saying it's a good ball. He didn't give him room to free his arms. He brought it closer to his body and tried to force him to try and create the room there. Very, very good ball from Patel and very good catch from Rakeb Patel also. The incoming batsman is uh, Ayre.
The team can go a bit. Yellow. But they are stuck with the spins. They are stuck with the slips. But I don't. I've not seen any ball going to the slips. There's some some serious good crowd which has shown up today. Oh, what a ball! What a ball! That's what you want to see. Can he land it there consistently? Beautiful ball. A little bit of drift and turn. Again, good ball. Runs out the first one. It gets the queen. Will Nemea get a single? Yes, good throw. One run. Good piece of fielding. Good running in between. Good short played. Good cricket all round. Yeah, shame. Can he get pressure? Can he really get that pressure? Oh, how close is that? How close is that? Very, very, very close. Unless he played it, he's given a leg bite. That was very, very, very close. The Empire thinks it was going down leg. Look pretty adjacent. Yeah. Looks very close. Let's have a look. There we go. How close is this? We've got a chance. Oh, missing. Maybe a touch, a touch missing outside the stumps. Outside of stump. Oh, what a shot! First six. Big one. What? Oh, feel dead from Raquel. Feel dead. Good fielding. Good six, then it comes in. Shame, I think he picked it up when he tried to toss it. It really went over the top. Oh, another good shot. Class. from the captain they are playing at home first series for a very long time Viraj just come back good sweep picks up the first one and picked up a single and that's Steve we're just talking about them making use of the sweep and make use of your f using your feet those are two important things when you're playing spin Viraj, good ball. Another dot ball. Oh, oh big appeal, but the Empire is not interested. Going down leg. But he's ready to play the sweep. It looks like that is one of his strengths. This one seemed like it was sliding down leg. Picks up a single again. I think Viraj is bowling very steady. If he can get support from the other side, ball more dot balls and they'll create pressure. No, no, no. Good ball from Viraj. He's been keeping pressure. A lot of pressure. He bowls, he's been bowling good areas. That's what I want to see. Well done, young man. Your pressure's paid out. We talk about him trying to sweep Steve. He tells to sweep the wrong one.
Kurora start. That seat. Good area. That's a good save from Rakeb. Chance of a run out. Oh. Very good feeling from Rakeb and good throw. Yeah. That was standing from a senior player. It's showing a lot of energy. Steve coming up. Let's talk about a little bit of the 19. They're going for the world qualifiers in Nigeria. That would be a good venture. We everybody knows in this part of the world, Nigeria is very strong in football. Can they play cricket? Good ball from Shem again. Dot ball. It's getting good pressure. The, Kenya, spin, the spinners are trying to bring it back. Kenya need to keep this pressure. Keep bowling dot balls at this stage. And the pressure will get to the Nepali batsmen. That's the whole idea. Create pressure. It's all about pressure. Who handles the pressure better? Can pick up the single. I think with the under 19s is, is a good opportunity for our youngsters to play in the qualifiers. Uh, the tournament is in Nigeria. Nigeria also have come up very well in Africa. Make use of his make use of his feet again. He's not get use of feet. Picks up a single. So uh, Steve to come back. I'll come back to you talking about Nigeria cricket. They've also come a long way. That's the African thing that we tend to build up here. Can we have an Africa championship? Will it, in, will it attract more, more people to be involved in this lovely sport? Definitely that would be the route to go. You know, have an Africa championship where the national team players can get some good competition in a pressure situation, pressure environment. If you have the likes of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Nigeria, Namibia to some extent, for me, I believe the players need game time. If they can play more games, then they become better players. Talk about Viraj, good ball for Viraj. He just finished an excellent spell and a good throw, which. Balls. You would think that is a walk in the park. But yeah, one, one or two wickets might create jitters. <laughs> so that you wonder what happens to the batsman once you get one or two wickets. That's what I'm saying. So create pressure. Try and get the pressure on. No, no, no. Good ball. Good ball. Viraj, I like, I, I like this kid, Steve. He's been bowling it very, very well. He's firing it well also. He's just kept it simple. Oh, talking ah, about well, very good eating. Uh,
Nairobi. And you can tell the crowd that you're having. Uh, keep it in mind, it's a weekday. So I'm expecting a huge crowd on Sunday. And Sunday should be the peak of the whole thing. Huge crowd. Friday, Sunday, huge crowd, especially for the Kenyans. Picks up another single. After six, it's easy to pick up a single. Yeah, Steve, you're talk, talking about having games back. We really needed it. It was a high time now. We've got to try and find a way to make our domestic become competitive. Can the T20s move from county to county? That's a big question. We failed that. Good ball from Viraj. Can they move from county to county? Can we have a circuit like the way the rugby has got it? That there's going to be a different circuit, a different T20 in every in two, three counties. No, 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 no. Good ball. Good one from Viraj. Very, very, very good ball. And Viraj finishes it over with one massive six, but recovered very well. Shows a big championship. The score is 95 for four. As an over, Steve. Right they need over. 35. So they need, so, sorry, they need 35. So can the Kenyan nine, create that pressure? Nine runs per over. Push it to 10, push it to 12. Can Nepali strike fast? Get three, four boundaries and make it more difficult for Kenyans? Start with a slow ball and good shot. Straight down the track. As Alonso gets down, fill it when. Good running in between, gets two runs. Good fielding. One run, two runs they have got. They may a change of pace. He's lost a huge amount of pace from his bowling, Steve. When he played, he was a little bit much quicker. At yeah, that time, he was uh, young in age. And he had just shot. come onto the scene. Classic shot. Gets down the first one quicker, the second one quicker. Fielded by Sachin. They're looking for two. I like the energy of running. Kenyans, good feeling from Sachin and a good throw. Keeps them for two runs only. And like I was saying with Neymar, I think uh, as age has gone by, he's lost a touch of that extra pace, extra yard. Makes it, makes it difficult, especially at this level. At this level, it's quite difficult. Except for another single. They're looking for two. Oh no. Get him out. Oh. Good throw. Again, the good, good running by the Nepalis. Yeah, they, that's what you're saying. Their energy is running in between the wickets. Very good. They've got six runs without getting a boundary. Two twos already. That's it. Nemea, we really, really get it. Slower ball, gives away the Empire goes wide ball. Good change of pace, but it didn't land it at a good area. Lot of pressure. Shot. Run the first one hard. They're still putting the same energy as Soy picks it up. Good throw. One run. Neme has been mixing up well. Comes here. It depends on how Kenyans 
would react. If they make it a close game, then it gives you a good fight for the next game, Steve. Definitely, yes. Uh, they've got to show that energy that they're here to compete and win the games. Especially when you're playing at home. Oh, what a shot! That they shot. Very good variation from the youngster. And that's what I'm saying. If, if, if you look at Steve, but the, the batsmen have been trying something rather than just sitting and waiting. Well played. Over. Neymar Finish finishes off with a dot ball. Fallen a bit, but I think we'll build up from there. Um, generally, I think we have the talent. The right players. on to bowl his last and over. He's done well so far in the three overs that he's bowled. And so I think, uh, yeah, Can you wave well the same so magic in this oh, last over? Nets, we need a magic. Raj. Kenyans need a magic. If we can get at least a week, two wickets yeah, to make, you to the to make it nice. Coming here. And it's a good opportunity for us youngsters to come and watch. Yeah, thanks. Picks up one. It's a single. One run there. Oh, they've been they they've been chasing it, calculating it very well. Picks ones and twos, gets a boundary once in a while. Kenya is not doing that well so far. They're conceding a few too many boundaries, in my opinion. Uh, even their batting, when I was calling it at home, they were going a bit too slow. So, oh, oh, another guys. good shot. Very, very, very good shot. Set away, straight on top of the bowler. Gone for four. It was hit with a lot of power. He had no time at all. And the STV is saying the Nepali is right, uh, right on top of it, and they are in a hurry to finish it. Yeah, Kennedy, they don't want to take it to the last over. Kidogo, Kidogo. Yeah, that's a very good shot. One of the top, he jumps to 28. Uh -huh. The first one harder. Can he make the second one? No. Says no. Good running. Good throw. Arif has been doing his playing his role very well. He's picking up singles. His partner is getting boundaries. Good shot again. Oh, good fielding. Hold on, hold on. Very good Cut fielding. It, right. That's what you want to see. A little bit of good energy, right. good fielding. Cut it up. You could only get one single. Mm -hmm. Well done there by Nelson Odiam, but backward point. He's always, you know, he's always in that position, backward point. One of the good fielders in the Kenya team. Is that a wide? Yes, it is. Ball down the leg side. They're creating pressure on Viraj. 
they are forcing him to ball the negative line. Ball again from Viraj. I think he's been with the pick of the balling on the Kenyan side. He's balled nice and steady. And talking about nice and steady, it's the end of the 18th over. And the score is 117 for four. It's quite exciting for the guys of the commentary and also us here to have the legend Sarudazi are sitting. It's quite excellent. Brilliant to have you around in Kenya. We hope you enjoy your stay. The whole team is behind there. They've been quite excited. The guys who are, who are televising it to have cricket back also. They're seeing cricket after a very long time. I walk in the, into the van and very, very, very hardworking people are working there, making sure that we get everything right on top of it. The guys are doing excellent there down. Keep on working hard. Uh, well, change of bowling, Steve. Yeah, from the city end, uh, Lucas comes back. He bowled well in the first spell, three straight overs. Let's see how he goes in this fourth over. You can see cross him already. Oh, what a cut. We talked about Nelson good fielding, misfielded it. Two runs, but created a lot of room. He had cut two runs, gone. That's it, that's a good cut shot. It's a good one. There we go. Oh, Lucas, he picks up, he picks a wicket. Lucas, very, very, very good ball. He balled on the leg side, Steve, and picked a wicket because of his pace. He's been bowling very well. He's not giving enough room for them to get it. Good wicket, Steve. Rushed the batsman there. Let's see if it came off the gloves. Rushed the batsman there. Looks like it came off the gloves. Yeah, good one. He's not giving room. He's bowling it very well. He bowled very well. He bowled initially. Because make something happen. Good shot. There we go. One run. Is that a deal was open his account, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Pick for one He'll quick just scene. come in here with a good shot, but picked a single. It looks like as if it's it looks like as if he's been in for a while, yeah. Shot. Is that a catch? There we go. Oh, he didn't even try. Come on, it's you need you need the wicket. Dive in front. Looks like he didn't pick it up early. It's Rakep who's a very good fielder. He should have tried. Should have tried very good shot. This is the time you say do or die. You yeah. go for it. If you take a blinder, you win the game for your team. 
good shot on the leg. Oh no! Picked up a single straight on his hands. That's totally poor fielding, seriously. Straight on his hand and they still pick up a single. Good running in between. Take nothing away from the Nepalis. A reef and a deal. They run right, right straight away. They didn't even blink. They're right there. Elijah, you got to go down. Oh, these fast bowlers still. They belong on the boundary. In a circle is not a place for them. Oh, good shot. Good shot on extra covers. One bounce Ballo, Ballo, to pick up. Ah, oh, wrong no. end, Ballo. Ah. Oh. Oh, my God. That could have been an interesting one. And good throw. Is it bad keeping Steve or bad throw? But we talk all the day. We wicked keepers could make it interesting. But he picked the right end to throw to. I think it got an unlucky bounce for Karim. Maybe in the rough uh, from the foot marks. Yeah. Looked like a bad bounce. Oh, he could have made it interesting. They have really pushed it to the end. Let's see how good. That's a good shot. He picks up. That's one bounce. He picks it up nicely. And then he let it go. There you go. Uh, oh no. Could have been a run out. Nearly a run out. 19 overs gone. Nepal 125 for 5. They need, they need 5 runs, Steve. 5 runs. 5 runs to tie, 6 runs to win. It can either go with one big shot. Yeah. Or they can nudge it around and get it closer. This is what I wanted to see. This is what we're talking about Kenyans fighting. If you push it towards the end, then it gives you hope that there's a chance in the next in the next game that you can really make it through. Now if you look at it, Steve and Oberry, they didn't sweep, they didn't make use of the field. That 10 runs, 10, 15 runs could have made it a little bit more closer. Could have made them created pressure on the Nepalis to try and do something different. I think during that time Kenya played a lot of dot balls. If you can turn those dot balls even into singles, you have another 10, 15 extra runs. Yes. Would have made a difference to the total. Elijah Otieno entrusted to bowl the last over and the defend over five with... runs. No, not with these white balls. Come on, Elijah. Could make it said. Come on, Nepalis. Both teams. Arif, Adil, one of them. Can he finish with one hit? Elijah comes in. Catch, catch. Over the top. And is it a boundary? Yes, it is. First boundary. A very crucial boundary. Crucial one. Just got off the gloves and went for four runs. Good change of pace from Elijah, but nearly unlucky there. Two runs to go, Elijah. There we go. They need two runs to win. One run to win. Sorry, they need one run to win. So it's going to depend. Every, everybody is in. Can he go over the top? You should not let him pick a single. Elijah comes back again. Oh, good shot. Good shot to finish it up. And quite easily, Nepal wins convincingly with, five, with four balls to spare. Kenya needs to fight back on the next game. But very, very, very good shot from Nepali with the bat and the ball, Steve. Yeah, I think Nepal have uh, outplayed Kenya. Uh, they bowled well to restrict Kenya to 130. And now they've also batted very well to finish off the game. Uh, Kenya should take uh, solace in that Nepal got the runs in the last over. So there's a chance for Kenya to come back and fight in tomorrow's game. Yeah, that's a good shot. And that's what you're talking about. So the, at least the first game that they were playing, there were some nerves. But Kenya's going to fight back. But excellent performance from Nepal. Very good show. They came here and they wanted to prove a point and they're so far they have done that. It's been very good bowling from Nepalis and very good betting from, from Nepalis. Kenyans, they've got a lot of work to do with their betting, especially on the middle order. They've got to work out on how they're going to play spin. That has been one of their biggest challenge so far. If they could have rotated the strike more, it could have looked better. The bowling, still only Viraj was very impressive with the ball and Lucas on watch.
And as the two teams uh, reach a good sign for the two teams, the first time Kenyans there, it's a fast series and a very, very, very good series from both teams. It's going to be a good one. Still four more games to play, Steve. Yeah, Nepal takes uh, the lead 1-0 with four games to go. Nepal won by five wickets. What a convincingly win from Nepal. But Kenyans, they've got something to fight for. they still got four more games to play. And they're playing at home. So let's see if they can play and perform better. To the crowd, it has been very nice. The first time we're having cricket back at home with a little bit of crowd. Let's hope that we'll get a better crowd, a bigger crowd tomorrow and Sunday being a a weekend, we're expecting a massive crowd. So we're coming back to the highlights. If we talk about the highlights, we talk about the Kenyan bowling and Nepal's betting, both sides. So we start about the boundaries. So that was the first boundary they went over the top. Steve, they made it so easy, especially initially with the new ball. Yeah, and uh, when you look at the Nepali batsmen, they just kept their shape and played uh, the basic shots, like this one uh, along the ground. And that's and that's and that's what I like about their bowling. Yeah, the boundaries kept on flowing easily. The ball, there were buys, there were good hitting, there were sixes. They were all impressive with their shots. If I look at that, that was a shot with a lot of authority, Steve. Towards the end, you'll get a you will get the six. And the fielding was not impressive at all. But take away nothing from the Palis. They were debated very well, very 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 well to look at the boundaries. They approached the chasing like the way anybody would chase. And they look positive, Kennedy, like this one, uh, double stepping and hitting over the top. They really played the spin as well, used their feet, they swept very well. And that, and that is something that the Kenyans really have good work on. They, they, they missed in the, first, in the first half because the, the first half I know it was quite challenging with, with the bowling. Do you Okay, and then we're nearly towards the end. We'll get back to, we'll go to Sharuf, and then Sharuf will trade back to us to wrap it up. Sharuf is there with the presentation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. I don't think uh, the rest of the gentlemen in the ground can hear me, but we owe a big thank you to those who turned up at the Nairobi Gymkhana, this iconic ground for the start of international cricket once again here in Kenya. I am personally delighted to be here. And of course, congratulations to Nepal, who won a tight encounter in this first T20. We'll see how the other four go. Commiserations, of course, to the Kenyan team for not being able to pull it out. But it was a close match. Plenty of good things still to come. Welcome to the presentation. A special guest with me are... Um, Special guest in the presentation party is the one who took a splendid catch together to Brian Lara back in 1996 in the World Cup. Tariq is here with me. Tariq Iqbal, thank you so much for joining us. He'll be giving away the Man of the Match trophy a little later. But let's start our presentation ceremony by talking to the skipper of the team that unfortunately did not come out on top first. Shem Ngoche, please do join me. Thank you so much. Here you are. Well, listen, you guys ran it very close, I've got to admit. I suppose you'll take some heart from that. Definitely, definitely. I'm really happy with the effort the, the boys put out there. In the start, it was not easy for us uh, getting the... While we were betting it, we didn't get the start we looked, but the way we came back, uh, the lower order, the way they batted, I think it was really, really impressive. And then the way the, way the bowlers bowled, there's nothing much I can take out, out of them. So it's just uh, we, we've got to pick the positives out of this game think about it because the tomorrow is another game so it's for us just now to know how we, we're gonna we're gonna work out uh, from tomorrow I've got to compliment you on the acceleration towards the end at one point it looked like you might even struggle to get a hundred but you got 130 some very good batting towards the end uh, definitely definitely Lucas has done uh, that job for us quite a while and I think uh, it's really good to see him uh, doing that again well your left arm spinners including you worked pretty well Definitely. I thought the, the wicket was favoring slow bowlers. Uh, and I think the way we bowled uh, the spinners, I think it was good. It was good. We, we, we bowled good, good lines, but also credit to their batsman the way they, they played. I think the, the guy who came and scored, he batted really well. I've got to admit, I'm really delighted that big-time international cricket is back in Kenya. And I'm sure that you and your team must be enjoying this. 
Definitely seeing people coming here to just watch the game, I think it's a, it's a good sign for Kenyan cricket. So we are really happy despite losing, but we really want to thank all the fans for coming out. Good luck for the next four. Thank you very much. Shem Goche, skipper of the Kenyan team. They fell just short today. Now let's get our man of the match. Well, the one who made the biggest difference, of course, there are plenty of choices always, but the commentary team is very happy to give it to the man who took three for 22 in his four overs. Sompal Kami is our man of the match. Please accept your award from Tariq Iqbal. Fantastic. Well done, Sompal. Have a quick chat now that you're here. Thank you, Iqbal. To the camera, please, because you're the star. <laughs> okay, well, you guys started out really well. Even Karan bowled extremely well today. Yeah, in starting, wicket is really good. As a bowler, I feel like wicket is slow. So, we have a plan to bowl just uh, in good area. And, you know, line is very important in T20. So, we just believe in on and hit and bowl just wicket to wicket. Were you a little surprised with how difficult it was to make the 131 to win? Yeah, obviously, wicket is, you know, tough to play on that kind of wicket because it's a little bit bouncy and slow as well. So, it's hard to make runs, you know. So, uh, we are, uh, as a Nepal team, we are very lucky. We are sport Kenya. A 130 is a really good score. Yeah, and of course, Iri got those few runs in the end. Otherwise, you were running very close. Yeah, yeah. We are, you know, uh, every time when we have played, uh, mess going like that. So, we are very confident with our player as well. I have to say, I'm delighted to be here in Nairobi at the Gymkhana. What about you guys all the way from Nepal? Hope you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, Kenya is really good. And thank you so much for having us. Always helps to win the first one. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So, Paul Kami, a man of the match. And just final, uh, one final job to do, which is to speak to the skipper of the winning team. Sandeep Lamichane, if you'll join me, please. Well, time for a big smile. Okay, but you did run it close. Yeah, it was a close game. You know, uh, earlier we were thinking about like uh, there would be 150 to 60 runs would be a pass score here, but uh, later on realizing like it was actually helping both spinners and fast bowlers because of I guess uh, there was a bit of two pace on the wicket, but uh, you know um, credit goes to all the bowlers. You know, they they bowled on the right discipline and the right areas, especially you know the Pendrasing area and uh, the way Som bowled because because uh, it was never an easy task for him you know, coming last night and. Uh, bowling straight away into the game and the way he was bowling, I think it's absolutely amazing to see. It was also wonderful to see Karan at the top because he's hitting some good lengths and moving the ball away. Not much reward, but he bowled well. Yeah, overcast conditions and our players actually, you know, the top bowlers, they actually use the conditions and it, was, it helped, uh, helped actually all the spinners bowling there and especially, you know, when, when you're bowling on the smaller grounds like this, you know, you've got to be a bit careful on, on those parts. But yeah, um, special innings from uh, the interesting areas all there. Without question. But I've got to ask you, you did, in a sense, allow them to get to a much bigger 130 than we thought, maybe 115 at one point of time. And did that worry you a bit, allowing all those runs towards the end? Yeah, because, uh, you know, it was a big concern, uh, uh, going to be a concern because of the, the two pace we were talking about. And uh, later on, if you if you see the we were chasing, actually, you know, uh, I, I was personally thinking would have chased down by 17 or 18th over. I didn't want it to go to the last over. But, uh, you know, there was a bit of, uh, you know, low bounce on the wicket. So that's why I, I guess, you know, it's, it's a happy win for us. Listen, your cotton board was magnificent. Was your hand okay? Yeah, it's, it's okay now. <laughs> I hope so. The team needs you. Congratulations, of course. I hope you're happy to be here in Nepal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm fearing uh, the in uh, Kenya, beg your pardon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, international cricket is coming back to Kenya, and uh, it's a lovely support from all the fans. And uh, special thanks to all of them. You know, they came in a large number and uh, supporting their favorite teams. And hopefully, this this will keep going to the rest of the games as well. Yeah, and hopefully the games will be as close as this one, the other four. But congratulations for this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sandeep Lamachani, the skipper of Nepal, the winner of the first T20. Of course, four more still to come and the weekend still to come. So we think there'll be bigger crowds here at this wonderful, iconic stadium, the Nairobi Gymkhana. Back up to the commentary box to finish up the first of five T20s. Thank you very much. Excellent first day. We have had a beautiful day, wonderful day of cricket. Towards the end, we chased it, we couldn't chase it, Kenyans, Nepal were right on top of us and they were much stronger than us. But we're looking forward for tomorrow, Steve, it's going to be quite interesting. Kenyans have got another two more games to fight back. It's a 2020 games, we're expecting a huge crowd between tomorrow and Sunday. So it's a big fight back for Kenyans and tomorrow's game is going to be very, 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 very crucial, Steve. Yeah, with uh, four games to go, Nepal up 1-0. Uh, it would be a chance for Kenya to look to bounce back 
I'm sure they'll sit down as a team and the, you know with the technical bench and try and analyze where they went wrong in this game and uh, come back uh, stronger tomorrow. Talk about tomorrow, guys. It's a same place at Nairobi Gymkhana. We're expecting another exciting game of T20. To everybody in Nairobi and out of Nairobi, we all wish you all the best and see you here tomorrow at Nairobi Gymkhana. Well, Kenya will have to fight back to make it a 1 1 so that it can have the next four games interesting. To everybody around the world, goodbye and see you tomorrow at Nairobi Gymkhana.